So, uh, yeah, we're alive. Things. So let's get right to it. Shall we? Hi, everybody. Welcome back to uh, Into the Wild Coast. Uh, we have everybody here tonight. Uh, everybody is going to sound off at the moment. Uh, Robert, we were talking to you. So let's start with you and your character. Uh, playing Lael, getting sick of being in the Underdark at this point. I'm hoping we're out here soon. Next up, we have Pandarin. Plan Axial Skyrakis, Tiefling Bard, also sick of the Underdark. Open we'll get out of here soon. Technically, you're not in the Underdark anymore, but sure. Uh, next up, we have Griffin. <laughs> hey, everybody, I'm Griffin. I'm playing Baron Kicks the Shield, the leader and the egocentric uh, hero of this story, who also. Uh, you know what? This Underdark thing is really growing on me. We should just stay down here for like another 20 sessions, guys. Yeah, go ahead. I, yeah. I, I, I... <laughs> yeah, if you really want to, that's up to you. I'm I'm not going to. And last but certainly not least, we have Theta. Well, I'm Belloc. I live down here. Yeah. <laughs> this is home. Whether you like it or not. Uh, so... We left, left it. Uh, giants coming in one direction, giants coming in another, and Belloc, uh, what are you gonna do? Yeah, time to remember mechanics. I've only been learning two other games. <laughs> uh, god, I think I was doing the hand crossbow and sniper mode, so uh, three hits and a bonus against this dude. Oh, no, wait, he is prone, didn't he? Yeah, he yeah. is. I assume that's what that means. And I can see this guy down here, so I'll shoot at that guy then. Mm -hmm. And remember, I ignore a lot oh. of cover and everything like that, so... Um, uh, uh, before, you, before you announce, before you... Okay. You said well, the 18 okay. hits? Yeah. Well, screw it. I'll just let that go then. Also, never mind, I've I was about to say, I'm going to use a superior die and reroll one of the. Uh, not reroll, but I forgot I'm out of superior die anyway. You can still do it, yeah. Well, no, I'm out of superior die. That's what I'm saying. Oh. I was oh. trying to stop you to not say something before you told me the results, but then I forgot okay. I'm out of the thing I can do anyway. Oh, okay. So uh, Alexander. Years. Okay. Uh, Alexander is on the other side of the battle. You can see double doors here and. Uh, what's his passive perception? I don't know. Hold on. Uh, ooh, oh, bad button. Passive perception is 10. Okay. Would you like, can I make a perception check? No, no, this is just where you hear something, you know, on the fly, in the middle of combat, so. Alright. Well, from okay. here... I'm going to move him over here, so he'll have the block of the other side, mm -hmm. along with uh, the drow. Uh, did I? I cannot. I do not have any slots left for Bless. What slots do I have left, then? Um, I'm not going to count. I'm going to actually hold. We're going to hold. Hey, then. Uh, this guy sees. Hmm. Does it go for the? He's prone because of. Tasha sees his uh, yeah. laughter, correct? Yes. So he's gonna hurl a bolt at this guy then. Can I um? Sorry, while well, it's yeah. on the giant sword, can I correct for something? Go ahead. Uh, I think I'm getting vision from somebody else's token, which means I wouldn't have been able to shoot from where I'm at. So you mind if I just uh, move over to a place I could have shot from? Yeah, I mean you still have your movement, so yeah. Yeah. Well, I wasn't accounting for that. I just could see where the thing was, and I didn't realize my token yeah. was all the way over here, down the hallway. Yeah. That's so he's that. gonna he's gonna bolt this guy. Cool. Because he appearing actually is not dumb at all. Ooh. Twenty six points of damage. Yeah, he's doing it. Sevda. I like it. Yeah. Sevda. Can do a whole lot against fire immunity. <laughs> um. Uh, 
I mean, we're gonna do something. Might as well do it, you know? Remember, ranged attacks against a prone target have disadvantage, but not against regular targets. Yeah. Is that a bank shot that you're, you're gonna take out the pool table and... <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, okay, that's in range. We're gonna throw a throw a thing at the dude. Mm -hmm. Probably miss. Or not. Yeah, that... Uh, that was on... That's a 16. Ignore that. Yeah, that's a miss, yeah. Whatever it was. I come on and go, but splash it against the wall and... How was I on this advantage? Also... Yep. Know. Lail. Guy in front of me is out of commission at the moment, yes? Currently. Yeah. Currently, yeah. Uh, I mean, he has to make a saving throw, but... Yeah. Alright, let me ask. Does attacking him, like, break the uh, spell? Uh, gives him yes. a saving throw for Ish. every hit. Yeah. Every hit gives him a saving throw, basically. Okay, but you so do I'm... have advantage against him right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, alright, let, let me ask then. Do you want me to hit him, or no? Uh... I mean, Kix is the one concentrating. Ask him. I'm asking Kix. Do you want me to hit him or no? Um, let's go ahead and take out the one that's still standing up right now first. Okay. Then I'm going to hold until that one comes nearby so then I can attack him. Okay. Kix. A. Okay. Let's see. I could run up and uh, immediately flank myself. That would always be great. <laughs> uh, and honestly, there's not much of a difference. How far can I go? I can move like 30 feet, so I will actually go ahead and stand side by side with Lael and move back to the Sword and Shield. Okay. There we go. And that's a whole turn right there. Axios. Yeah, I kind of hold off on uh, using the spell slot. So we're we're gonna do the good old insult the guy from all the way across the room trick. Uh, let's see where is it? Is that the the mockery that is vicious? Yeah, yeah for a whole one damage, assuming he fails. You know, just send in insults across the the room. That's a big perception yeah. roll. Yeah. Oh, hellhounds again. Uh, so the fire giant is going to make a wisdom saving throw. And he misses. Cool. Takes all of one point of damage. It's their turn. So this guy is going to move up here. He has no space to attack, so he... One, two, three, one is kicks, two lail, three... The Imperium. Three. Uh, he's gonna lob a rock at the Imperium. Hold disadvantage. He still Doesn't does. matter. Ow. How's the Imperium looking? Does he look like he's severely injured? Oh, uh, yeah. Still, still there, but severely injured, yeah. Belloc. Uh, <clears throat> I guess the same thing as before. Okay. Hit. 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 Wow. Jesus. So that's uh, 18... 58 30. total. 58, yeah, that's exactly what you needed to take to, to get taken. Well, down. I mean, you figure 18 is the oh, average nice. roll, so. Those are good rolls. 
Absolutely. Alexander. Yeah, you hear from this direction like baying and and, well, and like, no. but it's very faint because these doors are, you know, are uh, pretty thick. They're made out of iron, but you kind of hear like a little bow, uh, baying and, and 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 bowing of uh, of something of uh, some kind of hound or dog or lion. Channel divinity is down. I still have some lay on hands left. Uh... He says, don't worry not, friend. Let's finish these up off before more come. I'd like to see you finish it to yourself. Uh like that's why I was asking, like, how severely injured is he? Like, is he look like does he look like he's I mean he or... is pretty beat up, but uh yeah. he still has some fight in him yet. Uh I'm going to um Actually, no, I lied. I don't have a lot of lay on hands left. I only got five left. I don't know. For some reason, on this sheet, there's like three different lay on hands. I don't know. I don't get that. You should only have lay on hands and healing hands. I see lay on hands three times. <laughs> yeah, that's well, that must be whatever bug, bug that just... gave me like 17 hand crossbows. Yeah. You can just delete the ones that aren't accurate. Yeah, because you have like a total of 55 for lay on hands right now. I'm at five left. You mean you do? Alexander, which you play? That. Yes. <laughs> All right. So uh, you know what? I'm going to then. Jesus, so there's nothing he can do because the guy is down. I'm gonna hold them again just for now. Mm -hmm. I mean, you okay. can probably hit him at this point. <laughs> Are you still doing the um the, the angels? The, yes. What? What? Yes. What's the angels? You, you have the, the, the you have your spirit second, guardians. Yeah, you have your second aura on you at the moment, which means that you're concentrating yeah. on that spell. Which means you I... step closer. Oh, you went through the wall. Yeah. If you, you what? So if you stepped closer, you would automatically be doing damage every turn. Is that the aura of vitality, or is that the other? No, one? the spirit guardian. I don't remember putting that on, unless if you guys because did. you didn't, because we did. Yeah. I see. I don't know. I just know that you have a second aura that's further out than the save aura that you put out. Yeah. So I'm just. That's asking. the spirit guardian. That's the spirit All right. guardian. So well, if you then move I... closer, every turn you do more damage. Yeah, just... All right. I move closer to the guy, and I guess he does damage just from me standing. You can there. also just go hit him because you're dealing damage anyways. I don't think I have actually the reach anyway. The reach too. Isn't what? this guy flying? Yeah, I thought he was like 15 yeah. feet no. up in the air. No, again, he. I was standing over here, right? Yeah. Know. You moved. Yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, can you hit can him. Get down there. Right. Okay. Didn't think I did. Could. Yeah, diagonals are whack. Moving in and stabby stab. Then it's a uh, wisdom Advantage. save. Uh, or 20, damage. 26 and 25. Yeah, he takes with damage. Yep. Uh, so another 3d8. A 16. What's the damage for the damage of the... Uh... Yeah, I'm doing that too. It'd be 15. He has to make three saving throws right now. He's probably going to get up, so... Yeah, he gets up now. Well, in his turn, basically. Yeah. Which is in a while, but he's still prone for now. So and that gives the Imperium a time to get them all and whack him. He goes out a little bit, and he just whacks him with them all. Uh, he has advantage. Well, he'd yeah, still uh, be uh, prone right now, wouldn't he? Yeah. That's why he has advantage. Yeah. Oh, sorry, man. I'm so used to hitting people at ranged. <laughs> Gar forever. Oh. Now Balak. So it's never done anything with prone people. That was in person. Uh, 31 points of damage, and the giant has to make a saving throw, which should be easy for him. Yeah. And 
Yeah, he made it. Just made it. Oh. Oh, he's not stunned. Set them. It's time to stab. Yes. Uh. It, it's it's just a spear, anyways. It doesn't matter. Did that not roll the um? The attack? No. Oh, that was the attack. Okay, cool. No, no it, it did not roll with advantage. Yeah. Uh, eighteen. E. Let me see. Eighteen. Eighteen hits. Five piercing. Doing it, doing it large. Lil's gonna go to town. Uh, 10, 24, 8, 21. 10, 10, 28 total on him. Yeah. Is he still alive? Uh, how much did he do? 28. Uh no, he's still there. Okay, kicks. Yep, it's my turn. Hey, I'm right here. Alright, well, he didn't try swinging for me. I'm going for the axe. Well, I guess the one who would have is dead. So, uh, here we go. Yeah. Let's do it. Three attacks. Where is it? Storm Fury. One, two, three. Oh, that's a, that's a nice looking crit right there. So that should be two hits. Let's add it all up. That is 19, 29, so plus 7, 36. Yeah. How do you do this? He's on the ground laughing, and, and actually he wakes up and you're... Oh, everybody's pummeling and hitting him, and, and he's like... Oh, and shouting and giant, like, ah, get off me. What do you, right. How do you do it? I'm going over to his neck and I'm chopping lumber. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay, so uh, the... Uh, so the marvels have taught me anything. Does that mean you just grab his head and rip it open? Oh, obviously. Yeah. Captain yeah. America style? Oh, my. Uh, the Imperium says, right? uh, friends, friends, follow me, quickly. And he's going to move over okay. here. Yeah, he's uh, got the same idea I do, I think. Didn't we go over here? And, yeah, yeah, but he's the only place he can, he knows he to go. Uh, he goes deep into the, into the, because this is a very long corridor. Uh, behind the doors, he closes the doors, and he casts uh, Pass Without Trace. He closes what doors? Everyone. The, yeah, the doors that are supposed to be here. Oh, so we're oh, technically, the, yeah. we're not on the other map, but we are on the other map. Yeah, but I, you know, back, back and forth. So you're you're there. Uh, and he says, I was low to do this. He's going to lord this over me for a long time, but... And he, he, you know, at first time you see him that, you know, this very large, imposing figure. But for the first time you see him that he's pretty young, right? That he's it's like a teenager, basically. Um, in giant form. Somebody had their growth spurt. Uh, and he says, oh, very well. And he, he he's about to shout, but he doesn't, you know, because you hear in the distance, like, dogs barking and, and some mm -hmm. somebody shouting or not shouting but like like telling dogs to you know rrr, 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 rrr. you know like when you want to silence the dog right he says oh you're never gonna hear the end of this still we've done well for so far we should he probably says, he says Cephas brother I need your aid we fight in the name of justice, per previous the giants, and Malef Maleficarum, dark skin elves. And he turns to to Bob, it's like no offense. <laughs> Please come to my aid in this hour of need. You see, like a like like a triangle opens up. Of light, and in steps another appear. Like he's a he's a twin of of this one. Oh shit! Wild. And uh, he he has two barrel. He has a maul and everything. But he's carrying two barrels. 
He's like, oh, brother. He tosses one barrel to, to his brother and then puts another one. It's like, drink. My brother has called for me. That means you are in great danger. Drink. Uh, basically, <clears throat> and you see, you see that the the uh, uh, the, the the first Imperium, uh, what was his name? Uh, Aspis. He puts a cloak out about him. He just drew, you know, he just guzzled this thing, right? So he's gonna roll healing. While this is going on, can Alexander make an insight anyway? Actually, no. He just gets uh, he gets full, he basically healed full for this. I mean, I mean, we're talking about like entire barrel of wine. He's just like guzzling it. Uh, um, let's see. Alexander does an insight on the barrel before he starts drinking. It's it smells sweet, and. You can't it inside almost, a barrel, it, by the way. Yeah, you can't. Unless the barrel was alive. All right, I'm inciting the uh, the new uh, Imperium. Yeah, he seems like he's looking at the situation going like, uh, "Here we go again." Uh, and he says, "Prince, drink." Um, Ale Alexander takes a drink. Uh, what happens to him? Let me see the potions of healing. Yeah, time to drink. What? What's the most powerful no, potion of healing? Thank you. He explains that there's enough Trolls for each blood. one of you. Well, not that one. Uh, uh, basically, it's the equivalent of a supreme healing potion. Uh, 10d4 plus 20. For each one of you. Wow. Oh, wow. Well, that's I mean, it. he says, there's drink of ambrosia and be restored. 10d4 plus 20, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. so 40, 40 if you have eight. any if you have any hit points that roll over, yeah. mark them as temporary hit points. Oh, shit. Okay. I got a big pool of health points, so it doesn't fill it up, but that's good. Yeah. So I can everybody one temporary everybody hit Everybody also has to everybody has to make a saving throw as well. Uh, a charisma saving throw. DC 18. Um, shit, I'm outside of the plus three saving throw area. Yeah, I failed both of those. <laughs> yeah. uh, you're in the plus three area, Leo. It takes I, I still fail. Ah, uh, by one. Oh, uh, everybody who has failed the saving throw, everybody who has the saving throw, they just feel invigorated. Like, I mean, you never tasted it. It's, it's wine, but it's like no wine you ever tasted before. Never tasted all wine those before. that, all those that have have the failed the saving throw. You are basically emboldened, meaning you have resistance to all fear uh, effects, but also you are compelled to attack the biggest target you can find by the most direct way possible. You yeah. will not back down. You're going to fight until the next long rest. Did you say that the treasure is compelling me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I feel ready to take on some giants already. I think I heard some up to the north. Let's get them. He says, and and he, he, Sifius, Sifus, uh turns to uh, to his brother and says, "So, oh, what kind of trouble have you gotten into yourself, brother?" And he's like, "I came to parley here, and well, long story short, they took me prisoner." He looks at him. He looks down at you. It's like they took you. May the lords of order preserve me. Oh, so is this bad? And who are your companions, if I may be so bold to ask? Kix, maybe you want to introduce yourself? Ah, I am Baron Kix the Shield, hero of Greyhawk. Breaks out the scroll. Let me guess, uh, 17 <laughs> titles. <laughs> Breaker of Chains. <laughs> Breaker of Chains. He who does not administrate her very well. Uh, clear, uh, 
he who cleared the mine of spiders, uh, and, and that's Key about master. it. It's actually very short. Person who is no longer allowed to read alone. <laughs> you don't want to ask about that one. That was a weird day. Alright, but yeah. The Baron kicks the shield. Hero of Greyhawk. And Slayer of Giants at this point. Let me see uh, how long does a pass without trace last. Because you guys can also... If oh, you it lasts to... for like hours. It should be an yeah. hour at least. You know where, so um, if you need to... where Septa's you know... token is? Kind of looked yeah. like the giant was wearing like a white and red kilt. <laughs> no, he's wearing pants. Yeah, no, um, but I mean, if you're zoomed out and her token's right there on his crotch for some reason, it was. Uh, and Whack. uh, yeah. Uh, he says, "Let me see. No, pass without trace. It lasts for one hour. So if you need to do any, if you need to recover anything that you recover with, you know, with it with a short rest." Mm -hmm. Now's the time because once that is done, then you know. You can what, reco uh, what recovers with a short rest? That would be the good question I would ask, I guess. Uh, lots of things. Depends on what your character is. Uh, do key points recover on a short rest or no? Yeah, I think so, actually. Double check on that. Do we get anything back, Kicks? Griffin? Uh, second wind, action surge, superiority die. Do we get superiority die back in all? Yes, you did. That was a long rest. Yeah, short rest. Key points are back. Woohoo. Uh, so everything, we got everything back. Yep. Alexander, does he get lay on hands? No, he doesn't. All right, no lay on hands. What about healing hands? I'm checking. Also, no. I no. mean, all of that yeah. shit should actually be on his right hand column. Going down, I was meticulous. No, I'm going through them as we go. No, I just label all my stuff. Oh, I literally just put everything. Everything there. It's either, this is too much stuff, I'm not going to put anything here. Or, this is a paragraph or two, I'll put that all here. Doesn't get healing <laughs> hands. Uh, I believe he doesn't get lay on hands. Uh, uh, yeah, long rest. They do suck. Channel divinity. I assume that's a long rest. But I've been wrong doesn't say, so... Yeah, no, I think I only put the effects of the channel divinities in there. Alright. I typically Which operate with, like, 17 books open, so... I yeah. don't... I will assume that he can't get anything, but he's good. Well, okay. So he says, well, 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 let's take care of this once and for all, brother. Indeed. We're here to back you up as you need to see fit. Now they're gonna go forward. Um... I mean, you all you fail feel emboldened, and it's like, of course, we're gonna go. You're not gonna wait around and stay behind. You're gonna exactly. go. I heard there were giants to the north. Let's go fight them. Curtain. That's nothing there. That's a curtain. You, you don't remember? That's, you're gonna just go and fight the split the curtain? Yeah. No, don't. I feel oh, emboldened. Okay. Well, nothing okay, can then. defeat me. I think there's only like one person. No. I guess Sevda or Axios I think... was on the other side of the plus three or shit. Sevda, I think, is the only person who saved. Oh, was she in the yeah, plus three or? Yeah, you, I mean, you... we were all next to each other, so she should You're be. very strong, so you just tear the, the curtain apart. And, and just like Giants playing some dice and like, they look at you like, mm -hmm. Yeah, they just see like the tiny little dragonborn here stepping in. Like, yes, I am the hero. I am undefeatable. I shall defeat every one of you. No initiative, then. Exactly. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, you didn't get all your hit points back, Kicks? Nope. Also, the second aura, I guess, is off of Alexander since it's been over an hour. Yeah. Yeah, but he... he, um, he I, yeah. Um, I need the uh, initiative order up. I'm uh, putting it right now. You so startle the giants that they go basically last. Yeah, well, there we go. I'm sure our friends from El the Elysian startle are very everybody. Happy about... <laughs> yeah. You see when the Imperiums go. The twins. The mighty brawling twins.
You know, when he said in when he said in Bolden, I just assumed first big enemy we see, not let's go find them behind a curtain. But we know that they were there though. No, yeah, we did. Exactly. We did. I yeah, we know did. That. We heard them. We yeah, heard we them did. the first thing we entered the place. Yeah, that's true. We did hear them. There's not much difference between hearing them and knowing that they're there. Yeah, so the Imperiums fly into it. And they're like, yeah. Let's Fuck it. Knock some, let's knock some heads. Less giants to worry about with this kingdom. Yeah, they both of them come. They're, they come in flying and they just, they're going to wail this guy right here. The first guy they see. Like, he's getting up and like, yeah, get him, get him. <laughs> I mean, they're no, the, the giants are not uh, prone, but, you know, still. Ow. Ow. Damn. This fixed damage is brutal. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, Holy uh, shit. 74 points of damage. I think they're on your side. Until Kickstand does something where they'll fight us. Well, oh, it's nice to know. The last time the quad suit simply just left. Like, fuck you. <laughs> just left because you guys <laughs> damaged them. Like, I'm trying to help you here, but if you want to kill me, fuck off. Uh, Belloc and Leo. Go simultaneously. What are you going to do? Yeah, you saw Kicks just tear down the, the curtain and go right on in. Uh, those oh, are... sorry. I missed everything. Good turn. Yeah. I actually now yeah. use a uh, superiority die. On one of those? Which one? Yeah, for the precision not the attack. Not this... not not the, the last one. one Make it the last one. It's the same. same as the first one. Uh, so, 22 to hit. That hits. 16 damage. After mm -hmm. after I got done saying 18 was the average. Uh, Lil literally goes to this giant and jumps on him, starts like just punching and stabbing. Using a key point for an extra attack. Ah, there we go. Uh, 20, 19, uh, 29, and I guess a 10 because we don't have advantage. Yeah. All right, so 11, 22, 24, 31 total. Wow. Last gun hits again. Kicks. You open the curtain and everybody flew past you and started wailing on the giants. Wait, like, oh, wait here. for me. I'll gang up on them too. <laughs> so I'll go in and um, I'll actually go and switch to Swar Storm Fury because I'm feeling confident. So let's do it. Storm Fury, where are you? One, two, three. One hit. Oh yeah. Well, that's 18 damage. Alexander the oh, right, oh, right, oh, right. Go ahead. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, he doesn't have enough to actually get there. Uh, spells don't uh, come back after a short rest, I assume, either. No. Right? Yeah. So he's limited, so... That's why I am completely fucked. All right, I got a bow out. A pot shot at the guy that's being shot on. 18? Okay. Yes. Hey, he takes five. So he Ale gets up. Alexander's happy. You got another attack, don't you? Does he get to it? Oh, he does get to attack. Yeah. Hold on. I keep forgetting because the bow is like a new thing. And you missed. And then, yeah, it's a whiff. So this guy is going to attack one Imperia. Uh, actually, he has to make two saving throws before he attacks. DC 15. It's con. Never mind. He does. So this guy's going to attack this guy. This guy's going to attack this guy. And these two. One's going to attack Alexander. It's a column. And the other one is going to try to... Well, actually, yeah. He, these two are going to gang up on this Imperia. Uh, so the first five giants on the Imperium, two great sword strikes, miss, hit, ooh, ouch. 
and four attacks on the other Imperium. This was the best idea, by the way. <laughs> 21 and 32, ooh, what's 15? Well, I mean, considering how much damage. damage the other Imperium thing had taken before and didn't even look close to going down. No doubt that they could yeah. solo these four guys, no problem. And the two attacks on Alexander. We are assuming they can solo them, to be fair. Well, again, we saw the one guy taking on the, dozens the of other guys. Uh, the 18 gets through. Yeah, that's 23 for you. Mm -hmm. So, Sebda. Sebda is not emboldened. She's like, Oh, you men are idiots. <laughs> uh, sounds about right. Where is Sebda? I don't even see her. Uh, the Over thing here. is, she doesn't really uh, okay. have anything else to do. What are you talking about? I'm right here. I mean, she has a range attack, so you can use it. Uh, does Sebda need a bow? No. I don't think she's proficient with bows. Well, fair, she's proficient with light crossbows. That's about it. There were a ton of them back back down, but yeah, sure. Mm. Uh, go ahead. What she's gonna do? Uh, well, don't got no spells. Not even a cantrip. They're immune to fire. Ah. Uh. So it's a it's a small issue. She doesn't have any non-fire related cantrips. What do you take her for? Some sort of cryomancer? Ray of sickness? God. Acid splash? Anything? <laughs> no, don't get a new cantrip for a while. I mean, going 100% on the most resisted damage type in all of D&D is... Well, yeah, but she ignores the resistance. It's just not immunity. Kind of annoying. I'll do the anime thing. Just uh, keep hitting them with it eat. until they're not longer immune. So what are you you just do? pull out your crossbow. You Draw like 22 ice. hit? <laughs> yes, a 22 does hit. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, doing a whole D4. Do it. Plus your dex. Whole what, 5 that? damage from a dagger. Axios. What are you going to do? Yeah, that's 20 feet. Okay. Uh, well, I'm also big dumb. So, I'm gonna walk forward and do the only thing I can do. Viciously insult literally everyone who opposes me. <laughs> I'm specifically, I'm gonna target uh, the closest one. We're gonna be like level 14 by the end of all this, aren't we? What is a male care involved? A male Karen? Yeah. Uh, uh, Ken. Chad. Ken? Chad. He's Ken. Or Chad. Yeah. Chad is, Chad is different. Ken <laughs> is a male Karen. Chad, Chad has a different context for Zoomers. Um, uh, Imperiums are gonna start wailing with their malls. The one is gonna hit. Da, da, da. Yeah. He just caves in the head of this one. No. This one turns around and uh, attack one of these guys. Ouch. No. Which one did he attack so I know? Uh this this one right here. Okay. How come the yeah, other is... how come the other guy has like a white background and they all have red? Because of your uh of your aura. It's lining him up. Is it? Oh. Okay. Yeah. And he's going to make a saving throw. You do. Ignore this he for did. a second. No, it's still white. They both have the same background. Yeah, like two of them have like a red background, the other two have a white background. Yeah, see, I move him away and he still has a white background. Yeah, that's Oh, you strange. mean the. 
Yeah, no, those are the those are the yeah. It doesn't matter. They're the same. I know. I just okay. find that interesting. Oh but... no, no, wait. They're servants. They're fire giant servants. I'm gonna say. Oh yeah. I just realized I didn't scroll up high enough to see that another one had a white background. Yeah, mm. those are. But they, they still fight like fire giants. Just have you know. So they differentiate them by changing the background colors. Interesting. Yeah. Belloc and Leo. You know, one, one, one giant is dead. The others are fighting. Uh, um, 23. The... I'll hits. roll a superiority die on the 17th. Which guy are you attacking? Sorry, hold a second. There we go. Uh, the servant in front. So yeah, twenty on the seventeen. How much? How much are you doing? Uh, thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Yeah, I got confused. I never saw the twenty-six. I was like, why the plus four? Leo, you go simultaneously. What? Who are you attacking? Remember, yeah. you are in Bolden. Yeah, I know. Uh, this giant here was the one that just took a hit from this guy, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna help him out because I believe in bros. So, uh, jumping in. Head first, going to use another key point for attacks. You missed them. You whisk with them all. That's a rarity. All right, go. Kicks. All right, Kicks has an axe, and he's going to go ahead and join you, Lail, up here. And we're going to go ahead and slam him with the axe. Let's do it. One, two, three. Yeah. There we go. That is two hits. 19, 19, so that's 38 plus an additional 644. Wow. That was a... I'm to... You might have to rename that axe. Doing as much damage as the, uh, as the other giants here. <laughs> uh, uh, Alexander, the ouch that hurt. Oh, Alexander, like, takes out his sword and just stabs this guy right in his crotch. For, tw for 11. Like, tender the knee camper, huh? Yep. The, bo the ball snatcher. Damn, why uh, not? Uh, Fire Giant's gonna turn around and attack you. Alexander? Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, those both... Fuck, those both hit. Um, <laughs> holy <laughs> shit. That's three sixes? Holy shit! <laughs> uh, 35, 45, 52. Uh, 96 minus 52, so... 4... So 44. One fight giant's gonna take two attacks on the Imperium. And hits both. 48. And this one is going to choose between Leo and Kicks. So, 1d2. One Leo, two Kicks. Oh, Leo. Good for it. Of course, it's last in there. You ask and thou shall receive. Hold so, on. Wow. Oof. Lasts a lot. Let's reduce seven of it. Okay. Nice. So 20 plus 34 plus 19. 34 plus 19. 44. 54. 64. Jesus Christ. Um, uh, I got to do a lot of math now. 64 minus 13. 54, 51. Uh, 93 minus 51. Three, two, nine, eight, six, five, forty-three. Uh, forty-two. That's like two thirds of his health. Holy shit! <laughs> well, don't forget your overflow. I already yeah for that yeah yeah. yeah. Save them. You going melee? Don't have any spells. Okay then. She's not emboldened though. Oh, she only has two daggers, and she just threw one of them. Oh, okay. Really, it's a matter Go of being emboldened if she doesn't help. 
everyone else dies, which you can do. Yeah. That's a good yeah, point. Uh, we're just gonna turn off the fire damage. Bonk. Nope. Okay. Axios. Uh, this kicks in re- yeah. Inspire kicks. Mm -hmm. And... Continue to insult that one dude. Wow. He's not insult. So the Imperium takes uh, on that guy. He's going to take a mall action. Uh, so 32. He, this giant is looking pretty beat up. His brother is going to do the same to the other guy. 30 points, and both of them are going to have to make saving throws. Which they're probably going to make, but... Uh, let's see. We didn't make it. Nice. And he didn't make it either. Both of them are stunned. Nice! So the oh, end yo, of the Imperium... Big. Imperium next round. So, Belloc, you have advantage on your target. Oh, uh, yeah. It didn't you hit right. all of them. Okay. Yeah. He did. Leo. With advantage? Yeah, with advantage. Gonna do burn a key. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Uh, nine, seven, twelve, and nine. So, uh, twelve, nineteen, twenty-eight, thirty-seven. Yeah, he's pretty messed up. I wanted to take him down so bad. Hicks. Hey, back to me. All right, well, I can't help but notice my giant right here is stunned, and he might actually die, so I'm going to do these one at a time. Uh, yep, 19 for 13 damage right there. He's dead. All right, in which case, I'm going to go ahead and... Ba oh, that guy's also... All right, well, go into this guy then. Going across his corpse well and doing two more. One and two. Oh, Ooh. those are actually good hits. There we go. All right, so that is 9, 17, plus 14. Uh, 31. Wow, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Alexander. Yeah. Charges in. Blade up. Uh, 22 on the giant. Thank you, hit. Okay, that's your first attack. No, I did both attacks. It's 22 total. Okay. Sorry, I was on another page. Just two moments. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. His turn. He's he's gonna drop his sword. It's like he starts saying saying something you don't understand. Uh, but he's clearly you know showing signs that he's not gonna fight it. And so the Imperium goes and, you know, puts his maw on top of the sword and says, This one has surrendered. Give me the bed sheets. And his brother starts Give getting the bed, bed sheets. sheets. Yeah. <laughs> and they basically, you know, 
they muscle him and and uh, restrain him. Maybe we can get um, information then from them. That sounds like a great idea. Get on that, Lael. I don't speak giant. That's not exactly the can-do spirit I'm looking for here, Lael. We can do anything. Oh, okay. I smack, I smack kicks in the face. Can I do that? Yeah! <laughs> it just only pumps kick up, kicks up even more. <laughs> 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 this and uh, basically uh Sipper says this this man is merely a servant. Oh uh, he may not know much about this place. Why did he why did he attack? He turns to you, he's flying, he sort of looks down at you like We attack, we won. We're the victors. Fair point. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> But we must move quickly then. If we alert more giants, uh, the ambrosia would wear off quickly enough. And I hate to cart your bodies back to whatever heavens you need to go to. Let's go. Well, yeah. all right. Yes, let's go. They're both now flying. And uh, more. the first brother says, this way. And he points to in this direction that they jumped. Okay. It is a damn shame we don't have time to loot these guys. Right, because we really have a use for giant size gear. I'm just trying to imagine like the weight of carrying around like 20 giant size great swords or something. And you hear oh. you hear clo you hear Somebody a closing fly. door somewhere around here? Like somebody yeah. Me, honey, I shrunk the kids where a bunch of us just wield one sword. Well I'm not saying take their swords, but like I'm sure they got like gold and shit on them. Yes, the spend in that shopkeep was really down here, I'm sure. I mean, it wouldn't be a D and D game without creatures holding gold. Right, right, I just don't think we care about gold anymore. Fair enough. I mean, nice. if it's, like, your character's motivation to be rich by the end of the campaign, sure. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's not. I'm just, like, pointing it out. Like, the player in me is like, oh, this is, like, a treasure trove. Yeah, I, I know. I realized. I was like, yeah, but you're still your character at the end of the campaign. You don't want to leave them off broke. It's like, okay, yeah, maybe if, if the greedy person in the campaign, your character wants to end with, like, a cast. As you're, as you're moving in, you see someone pop in, like, oh, uh huh Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh! That thing, a phone he, charge, and he starts running in the other direction. Get back here! Oh, in the dog. So, should we roll initiative on that, or or just? Yeah, let's roll initiative. Yeah, let's on let's that. do that. Bop. thirteen, and shouting. He starts shouting. Twisting. Twist and shout. No, no, it's legally distinct. It's sh shout and twist. Shout and twist. So, Belloc, you, you're in a position to see the Eden. Actually, you know, you can't see the Eden. But I can see everything. My problem is, well, let me measure from at, not, you know, line of sight it. Come from on, where you are, you can't handle you. I mean, technically, I guess I think I could. So I ignore most cover. Dude's shoulder blade or whatever is sticking out. Are those Why? guys, I clearly can't. There's a wall. That's an undisputable wall. Why not move like slightly co closer? Do you lose shots then? You could just no. I can see them from right here. It's fine. Ten feet to the left. You mean like like yeah. I did? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like well, that. Let me put the turn order somewhere that I can keep it on the screen and visible to an audience. Alright, um... Blah, 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 blah. Where's my... I don't remember the Edmonds having that big of a AC. Does a 14 hit? Yes. A 10 doesn't though, right? No. Uh, I think it's fine. One miss. 
two. Come on, two. 32, 54, 54. 54. 54. Yeah. Yeah, you, you heard him. That's me. Leo. Just charge him. Okay. I mean, I'm under the effects of this stuff, so we'll burn a key. Do the thing. I'm 90% sure all those hit. Yeah. Uh, 12, 22, 32... 41. Yeah, he's dead. He didn't even have a chance. Except them. But I'm gonna run for these guys. Gonna... They know. They know hold of course they to, know. to stab stuff with a spear. Okay. Uh, Axius? You are, I think, emboldened. So, what yeah. can I do? Start by walking forward. Do I see anything? Uh, let me see. Do you see anything? Let's I see. don't think I see anything. No, you don't see anything. Well... I'm gonna stand there. <laughs> I, I will... Uh, Kix quiet. is still inspired. So I will just also hold to mock someone. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, I'm pretty sure I see some things over here. Yeah. So uh, Kix is going to move and dodge, and that's a whole turn. Okay. Because he just can't really reach anything this turn anyway. Alexander. Alexander's following suit, move and dodge. Okay. So I'm going to roll initiative for these guys. Now that we're in the, we're gonna go for the top of the order. Let me organize. Belloc. Well, oh, none of them rolled higher than me. No, they did uh, not roll higher. That dude's dead. They roll high in the perception, but not in the. Uh, Back one. Come on. There we go. And double check. Yeah, I can see that guy, and I'm literally scathing the edge of that wall, but that's still cover that doesn't apply to me, so I'm attacking. But that dude, as I can see him. Well, I've been doing the sniper shots anyway, so fuck it. Mm -hmm. Did the 18 hit? 18 and 21 hit, yeah. Yeah, clearly not the double ones. <laughs> so 40 damage. Ooh. And I am done. Okay. Leo. See, I can't see them. Um, so... Oh, this is literally the definition of a sniper shot. I can see him through a very small crevice, and it's literally scathing along the wall here. But it's literally what the talent grants me, so. Oh, yes. I'm oh, sorry. That's, before we continue, and let me give the Imperiums also a chance to do something. I, I always forget that they also have to go on the initiative. Move up here, yeah. and I'm embracing a dodge like everybody okay. else, so I can just see them. The Imperiums. That moves here. Gonna move here, and they're gonna blast this guy with bolts. Two bolts, one each. Oh, that's a miss. But that's a hit. What are the little guys they got there? I just noticed they have other people there. Probably the dogs we've been hearing. No. No, these sound as you hear. You hear like a nervous laughter. But like it's hyenas. Quite... Yeah, like hyenas. Oh, it's fucking moles. Yeah. I was about to say, Pepta. more were-rats, more interns. Pepta. Uh Oh god, there's so many. Also, you, uh, well, they haven't moved yet, so, yeah. Yeah, a whole bunch of characters in there that don't seem to be Fireman. Yeah.
where rats are a target. So let's see what we can do about that. Um, they're 60, 65 feet away. So, I guess I could go here instead. Yeah. And, uh, try and, like, firebolt one. Okay. And take a step back. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Let's do that. So, firebolt. For that much. Well, they do have cover from the giants, but you still hit anyway. Yeah. Which one are you attacking? Uh, so the one I think that's most visible is this one. So we'll we'll say it's that one, and then just step back. You attack him, and and no, like, eh, and he tries to scamper away. Right? These guys don't seem to have any weapons or like that. They just sort of, you know, scared. Okay. Thing. Yeah. I'm 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 cool with intimidating them. Axios. You're still holding an action on that? Yeah, they haven't nothing's come into view, so I guess we're going this way. Yeah. And I'll just yell at the first fire giant in front of me. Uh, and I guess I will inspire Sevda. Right. Wisdom. Cool. It takes four so damage. Four disadvantage. Starts attack. Yeah. With your Please. inspiration, it doesn't go away if you fail, right? Correct. So, could you use it multiple times in a turn? Yes. So, say you Assuming had a sniper that was making multiple shots. And it was that's a good point. I don't. Think I will they do that. Stack, though, do they? They don't stack. Okay, so the first attack against uh, the Imperium, with but disadvantage. You can use it multiple times. Misses, and the second one, yes. theoretically, right until it fails. So basically, it'd be like yeah. another free until one strike. success. Yeah. Wait, I thought uh, both had disadvantage, or just the first? Just the first one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. You're dodging, right? I am, yes. No two attacks on you. Of course. Is it 18 hit? That's a hit. Well, 17 misses. 17 misses. Yeah, for 28 points of damage. Kicks. Okay. Hey. All right. Gix, it's time to shine. So, no longer dodging. I'm going to go ahead and go in. And I'm going to go ahead and swing my axe at the one to the south. Mm -hmm. So, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll do it one at a time since I got a thing I could do. That'll be a hit. That'll be a hit. And that'll be a hit. Oh, that's, that's a lot of damage, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is... uh. Pretty frightening. So let's go ahead and add that all up. That is 58 points of damage as Kix just comes howling between the legs of one of the titans. Yep. There we Alex go. Kendra, your turn. Need to be out of focus in the camera. Comes in there. Double strike. Uh, 10. Uh, okay. Not as uh, cool as kicks. Did your uh, did your channel divinities come back on a short rest? Nope. No. Okay. Nope. Oh. I was just thinking that you had that one that heals. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh day. no. I'm I'm well aware. There's something else I can do for the healing, but I might have to do so that later. Down twenty five. I can. Yeah, it's across the wall. Yeah, I still have. I keep shooting the same guy. Mm-hmm. So three hits. Yeah. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. 
I got Lail. up to 40 and then my mind blanked. I was like, shit, math. Lail, Lail is getting his licks in. Mm-hmm. Uh, does the 16 hit? No. 18? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a fire giant? 21 total. Good to know. Very important and information. The Imperiums. Uh, they're flying, so both of them are going to maul this guy. Two maul attacks. Oh, yeah, that'll probably do it. Nine. It is 44. 50. 53. Yeah, uh, 53. You know, he's not dead, but he's nearly so. But he has to make two saving throws. And he fails one of them, so he is stunned. Tap them. Uh, stab a dude. It's a bandage. Yeah. That's a hit. Five old damage. And he kills her. Kills it. Wow. A kill. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Um. And uh, Cephas looks at you and says, like, ah, You should have brought another battle. Ah. That's all right. Hiding his thirsty work. Onwards. I see. Dangerous creatures. Kicks like waves his axe like in the direction of those like, you there, are you ready to fight as well? What can can he? No, actually he cannot heal you. He has many abilities, but none of them are heals. I'm not worried about healing right now. I should be, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah, so they're flying this way. There, brother. There's the foul king of the. Fire giants. Let us end this once and for all. Oh, we got the king now. Fuck yeah. Oh, God. Well, if you want me. Ah, little titan, if you want me, come and get me. And he actually says it in, in common, so you gotta understand it. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna roll initiative. Oh, shit. <clears throat> yeah, I'll let you clear it out first. There we go. That one new initiative? Yeah. Yep, yep, new initiative. This challenge were made, and, um... Uh... There we go. My initiative is getting the... smaller and smaller every... <laughs> Let's start with the king. King Snoor. He has two fire giants with him. I really do wish I had healing right now, actually. <laughs> no kidding. Actually, no, I do. I have one potion of healing. Does Axios have spells? Um, I think I have one. Because don't you have a healing spell yourself? Yeah. I got the potion of healing. Alexander can do a couple of things to heal people. I too. can also cast heroism on people if we want. Of course, you have to stand next to me for me to do that. I realized as a fallback, um, I'm just really far behind. But also, I mean, at the custom itself, I am a, a drow and uh, pretty good at disguise. And surrounded by other drow. So, Axios, you go first. Oh boy. Um. Gonna start by going here. And I'm. Can I cast heroism on the Titans as well? Yeah. They're your allies. Okay. All right, because, you know, they're flying. Just, they need I mean... to come down a bit. Uh, but I'm going to do that on them and kicks. Mm -hmm. So, start of their turn, 5 temp hey. HP every turn. 
All right. Five HP. Sweet. H- how much? Five? Five. Okay. Temporary hit points. Uh, and then, let's see. Fifteen. Right, go behind this pillar. Okay. Well, the fire giants, well, they had to move quite a bit because, well, from where they are, they're not going to hit anything. Who'd you cast that on? I'm sorry. Kix and the two titan dudes. Okay. Because they were all next to each other, which is the requirement. Cool. Yeah, but they're, uh, they're prepared. Yeah, they're going to be here and here. And they're going to see. Who they can they see? Let me see. Yep. Vision. This is not a. Ba- I, I like the, the prepare, but apparently this is one of the ones that got prepared pretty quickly. So, yeah, he can see the the Imperiums. Uh, so you know, two rocks at the lead Imperium. Uh, one from each of the fire giants. But they're columns in the middle, so they they have advantage. So I'm if a we kill, okay, so up we... by two. Yeah, go ahead. I got no, no. I was just gonna say something. No, the silly. Oh, that's a hit. That's a miss. So thirty-one points of damage. Leo. Uh, apparently I have a potion of healing that I didn't realize I had, so I'd like to drink it. Go ahead. I don't know what is in it, because all I wrote here is potion of healing. Uh, so basic potion of healing is uh, 2d4 plus 4, I believe. Yeah. I'll take 9. Okay, and I will stay in my current position at the moment. Okay. Uh, Belloc. In fact, I'll cast dodge on my, or do the dodge thing. On Remember, my... also, Belloc, you're still emboldened. You didn't make the saving throw, so. Yeah, I mean, but that doesn't mean anything. I hurt people at range, so. Yeah, but at least you had to get within combat range. Right? Yeah, you, I know. You use your movement. Which I did. Uh, actually, I don't. You're it's... not suicidal. I won't say that much, but you are emboldened. Right, I've been killing people. I don't know why you're telling me this. No, no, no. Just, just saying, just saying. At that range, I think you're in. Is range doesn't matter to me, but I'm. I had a double move to get here, so. Okay. This happens. Kicks. All right, kicks is going to advance, and I'm going to drink the potion of growth that we have. Oh. So I had to look up exactly what it does. Uh, I will Garrow in size, yes, like that. And I will be doing an additional D4 to all my damage. I also have advantage on strength checks and saving throws. Nice. And I think that's all the effects. So yeah, Kix gets big. That's it. I didn't yeah, I know. I, know. That, I agree. Yeah, that, that is. I, when you said it's like, yeah, of course he does. He, he got the feet. I wasn't. Uh, uh, I wasn't bringing it up because we were arguing. I was just bringing it up in case future reference. Yeah, no, I don't want to tap the whole not. sharpshooter gift <laughs> for just one little sentence. No. Uh, Sevda was not emboldened. Yeah. Uh, let's see. And see these now giant fools doing more damage than good. Like, oh man. The bigger they are, the less blood they have. I'm the biggest thing there is. The less brain cells. No, she says blood. And you realize she means something else, and you're like, you look at her like, Okay, hey, well. Are we going with that now? <laughs> uh, got a whole range of 60 feet. So, gotta just walk forward. That's more than a double movement, right? That is a dash. You're taking cover behind the pillar, okay. She has plus two armor class and the attacks that make her. Yeah. So the king steps up. 
Where can the king go? Hail to the king, baby. He also throws rocks, so... At this range. But... At disadvantage. Which is another thing. I don't see. Yeah, if that rock would have still hit either way. <laughs> disadvantage. Uh, so he's going to cast the same rock at the... Uh, yeah, it hits. The Imperium. Did that first rock hit? Scepter? The Imperium. No, the Imperium. Okay. Uh, they're soaking all the damage. Scepter, the first one in line? Technically. How did we go yeah. wrong? Oh, oh, these stupid men always... Wait, am I in front? <laughs> Eden. What can the Eden do? Good old He's gonna pillar run. cover. He's gonna run. He's, he's just going to run for it. But toward you, not away from you. I was going to say, what a coward. Uh, one battle axe and one sword. Like, uh, uh, uh. I don't think he's going to make it, but... Let's see how far the... Oh, the hellhounds can move a lot. Ah, uh, crap. More hounds. Yeah, they're backing up the end. Alexander, the oh shit, they're coming this way. Moving up. And Alexander is going to spend his last one for Spirit Guardians. Oh. You're moving on up. Towards the east side. So that's the last of that. I'm choosing that over the Vitality spell, which I probably should do instead. But, um, all right. Uh, if I can get the... Uh, 30 foot aura on him. 15 foot. Excuse me, 15 foot aura. Yeah. So the brothers are going to spill it. They're going to go here. They're going to go here. And they're going to go for the hellhounds. Uh, with bolts. Which mm. they and they. Robert, if you just double click the token, you can do it your, you know, yourself. I didn't know I could. Yeah, scroll to the bottom. The one has zero in it, you just put 15 down. Oh, cool. Bolting the first Hellhound for 16 points of damage. Let's see if we can kill that Hellhound. They could not, but they messed him up. The Giants! Giants, they're gonna move up. Yeah, this hall seems like it's very inconvenient for them. I mean, it wasn't built for battle. Well, I mean, just for movement, if you think about it, because you have to come down the center. If you come down the center hallway, all those pillars mm. funnel you into one, and then you got to figure shift left or right for the center pillars. It's just annoying. Yeah, yeah. rock and rock. That's a miss. That's a hit. Uh, who they hit? Uh, big, the second brother, Diffius. All right, so... I'm intercepting the rock. Okay. Yes, yeah, reduce it by six points. So thirty-four. That puts it down to. 28. Right? Uh, yep, that's right. Minus 5. 23. They get 5 points every turn, right? At the start of their turn. Okay. It does not stack, it's just 5. Yeah, but... But yeah. Unless someone else does damage to them, then, then no problem. Uh, Axios. Yeah. Uh, let's see. There's a dude over there. Let's 
so they're in a pretty good position to hypnotic pattern. Other options are just blinding them, they'll probably save against that. Enemies abound, which only targets one at a time. And probably fairy fire, but I think we're okay on that for now. Yeah, but I can't concentrate, so probably better to hold. Uh, let's see, who is in, in range of mocking? Alright, he's in range of mocking. Do that. Yeah, then I held. Sit behind a pillar again. Leo. See, um, getting over here, and that mirror image power. Can I do that now? Yes. And let's do I it. Used it it's once at once. I'll put a long rest. Yeah. Then let's do it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. how many things do I get? Three, right? Okay. Yeah, just every time something attacks you. What's your dex mod? Five, four, five? Five. Yeah. So your mirror image just have an AC of 15. AC of 15, which is pretty good. What's that? Uh, Belloc. Did you move, Lael, or are you... I did. I moved all the way as far as I could. Okay. I'm up here now, near the front. Yeah, I unleash on the end. Okay. It's a 13 hit. Yes. No, let me check. Let me check. Um, it does hit, yeah. That's a whole lot of damage. 40 plus 36, so 76. I think so. 36. Nice, 76 damage on the end. 56. How much? Uh, 76. 36 plus 40, right? So four, 76. Yeah. Yeah, it's he's pretty messed up. Still there, but pretty messed up. Jesus. That's a me. Kicks. All right, time for me to move up. Uh, I'm not any faster for being a giant right now. Uh, so really, I just kind of advance, uh, charge, and basically I can get to there. At which point, I will have to choose to dodge. Okay. Yeah, that's the turn. Okay, yeah. Uh, two attacks on you. From behind this realm. Ooh, spooky. It's Jafar. Oh no. Good thing I'm dodging. They have an ash, though. So it cancels out. Yeah, it all evens out. Yeah, 22. Yep, that's one hit. It's a lot of text. Yeah, you, you take, need to do assassinate twice. Let's see. Uh, Thirty-three oh, points. Okay. When the ghost target uh, gets a drop on target, it makes a longbow attack. Uh, make a DC sixteen Constitution save or be paralyzed on a fail save. Yeah, so if let's you make the, the save, damage. you're slowed. So that's thirty damage. Uh, five of it is temporary. There we go. 
Mm -hmm. Uh, next is DC 16 save. What's the save type again? Uh, constitution. Uh, oof. Uh, I think I could roll the D10 and maybe still make it. But you also have the other thing, don't you still? Uh, which other thing? Uh, impervious or... Uh, oh yes, indomitable. Yes, I can re-roll this save, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. This is exactly the situation it's for, and let's roll the inspiration. Hey, that'll actually make it. So you're slowed, and from behind the throne appears a drow with a bow. Stop me! I know it's not you. <laughs> oh no, he was on both sides at the same time. Do we to see my the mirror image. Yeah. You rec well, you recognize this drow, in fact. Oh, do you I? You recognize this as the guy who burned down your village and slayed your sister. Oh, wow. You should not have told me that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, nothing else Lail would have caused suicidal Lail. now. Yeah, I was saying nothing else would have gotten <laughs> killed but that. <laughs> Hey, yeah. so you're feeling overconfident, and you see the person who killed your family. What do you, you want to do? Go to Disneyland. Easily talk it out, right? King Snur goes next. Wait a minute, did I? I think I jumped the Imperiums. No, they attacked the, the Hellhounds, yeah. Yeah, they attacked the Hellhound. Uh, so he's going to go... Uh, he's going to... He's gonna keep on attacking the Imperiums. You foolish boys think you can <laughs> come to my kingdom and take me and take me down, you are idiots. Yeah, 33 points of damage. Oh, who'd he target? Imperiums. Uh, the guy in the south. Okay. We we should probably name them both and have their name plates up. King only gets yeah, one they're... attack. Uh, Aspis is the one in the north, and Syphilis is upon the south. Aspis, so shield, Syphilis. Uh, basically, sword and shield. Yeah, there, I, I, I caught that. Septa. Well done. Uh. Well, the Utten is kind of the only guy in reasonable range. By the way, let me tell you what slow does, so we don't we're not confused. It's yeah. like the spell. Slow uh, kills Marmon. That's what slow does. <laughs> so, uh, you all do time around uh, seven. You take a minus two armor class penalty, uh, and they stare, and you have. And you can't take reactions. Uh, yeah, and your speed is half as well. Uh, and this minus two to armor class and dexterity saving throws, and you yep. can use reactions. Yeah, uh, you have to make a saving throw at Should the end be. of your turn. Yep, and that'll that'll dispel it if I succeed. So you're Ant Man yeah. on the verge of passing out. I'm pretty sure an eleven misses, but Yes. Does a fifteen. No, it does not. Okay. Thirteen fire damage. Uh yeah, he's dead. Cool. Good timing too. End of turn. We can erase the not the hellhounds so. The hellhounds are not dead though. They, they will can be shortly. Too. Oh, they can run up to 50. Oof. Can't wait for the epitaph of this adventure when we all walk outside and get murdered by the 30 something skeletons that are waiting at the door. Uh, oh, so sorry. 15 foot cones. Get the. Summon the cones! Small. You said 15, right? 15, yeah. Yeah. So that should hit. Uh, let me double check. A uh, fire breath, 15 foot cone, yeah. 15 or 15? 15. 15, yeah, yeah, I know. I kept I kept hearing 50 for a moment, like, wow. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be a lot if it were 15, yeah. There we go. All right, know. so which one we doing first here? Yeah, that's, that's, that's basically just kicks, huh? Yeah, just kicks. Alright, let's deck save it. 13. That ain't good. Uh, yeah, it is. It is good, yes. Oh, uh, okay. 
We still did quite a bit of damage. Just yep, easy. but we half it, and then we half it again. Yeah, so 19, down, yeah. To down points. to 5, or 4, yeah. yeah. 4 points. It runs down. In Shadowrun it. And then for the Imperium, but the Imperium has advantage on all spells, saving throws. Spells and my mega effect on. Actually, no, he does not. But I think he has resistance. He actually does not have resistance to that. Uh, so he's just going to do a regular dexterity save. And he made it. So he only takes uh, a total of this. A total of 8 points of damage. So those are the Hellhounds. Uh, Alexander. The everybody's in kung fu fighting. I guess my swings will be fast as lightning. Let yeah, us hope so. Go on the hell down here. Yeah. Twenty sixteen. Yeah, both hits. Fourteen damage to it. Fourteen damage it is. And I believe the uh, the aura doesn't activate. Currently, it only activates when it's their turn, right? Yeah, once they enter it, yeah. No, well, they uh, the Hellhound has officially entered that aura. Yeah. The Imperium takes out this mall, and it's going to kill the Hound. That's the one. That's Syphilis. Ah, let's see if it actually... No, he did not actually kill the Hound. Did hurt it, though. Good. Guy flies here. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Alan has to make a saving throw. He's failed, so the Hound is... Um, stunned. That's load. Stunned. And, yeah, he's gonna... Uh, Try to kill the other with it. He's gonna maul the other hound. Uh, clear the area of hairy attacks. Imperium maul. Yeah, I'm not gonna describe how he kills a dog. I'm sorry. I'm just not gonna do that. They say the dog is dead. I'm leaving it dead. The dog quietly walks away from the fight. Uh, the fire giant steps up. This one is also gonna. Let's see how far can this guy go. He's gonna go over there. He's gonna hurl a rock. Two attacks on this Imperium. Hope he survives. The engine is dead. Let's take him out. Fire giant with the great swords. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Well, that's twenty-seven. Oh, this guy is hurting. Yeah. And 48. Oh. The other one's gonna hurl a rock at the other Imperial. Thirty points of damage. Thirty-four points of damage. Mm. Axios, what are you gonna do? Whatever you're gonna do, make it quick. Your allies are fading yeah. fast. I think it's time. Uh, should we use uh, that potion? <laughs> Seems like a good time to use that potion. Yeah. Good, good. good times any. Oh, I thought you were gonna go with the psychic fireball. I don't have spell slots. I don't We've know what you have. We've been over this. Have we? You I said I, it like three times tonight. Yeah. No, he said, I asked him, don't you have healing? Well, he said, I have, I have spell slots. That's the last I time I remember. one spell slot, and it's fourth level. Oh, Dimension Door. Yeah. <laughs> You're not even close to something. Are you close to something? I guess you are close enough. Yeah, reasonably close. Um, let me see. 
Oh, let me go read what the potion does, so... Potion of Pyodine Control? Yeah. So... Cast Dominate. Uh, let's see. Dominate Monster. It's something you drink and it works on them? Yeah. And that's something you have to make them drink? Yeah, I no. thought that too. <laughs> so, concentration up to an hour. It basically gives you Dominate Monster. Yeah, Wisdom Save or be Charmed. Uh, they get advantage. Let's see. Issue commands, no action required, which does it best to obey. Uh, you can take an action to take control of the target. Uh, you can also use a reaction, but that requires... Okay. Seems like a good time. They will get advantage, but I can give them a negative D10. They only so control let's... one at a time. Yeah. Which one are you going to control? Which one is the least injured? Uh, none of them have been injured. Okay. Uh, I guess probably this one, right? Because, I mean, yeah, the, south the chances of it working on the king... Degrees. Yeah, the chances of it yeah. working on the king are like 2%. Yeah, don't, wor don't I mean, worry about don't the king. Know. I wouldn't worry about the king. I would use uh, the. He big could guy have legendary him. resistance and just nullify the effect entirely. So. Take the easy target, and we got a whole giant, extra giant on our side. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, let's just get an extra giant, and then I can just play as him the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Third character. Yep. Uh, so he needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Mm -hmm. Does it use my DC or? No, the potion should have its own DC. Let me go back uh, to the potion. Uh, when you cast Dominate, spell save DC 15. Yeah. Okay. But we want to... We kind of have to go for it, and there's there's no time that they're not going to have the thing on it. Mm -hmm. So, wisdom save. Okay. Roll it. He D10. Failed. Well, he gets advantage, but he gets minus one, so he fails. Yeah. Success. So he is, let me see, he is dominated. Let me see, a yeah. good domination. And I put him this. And then I can just take control of him as an action. Yeah. Or tell but, him to do things for but free. But that will be in your next round, because this round, you drank the potion. Yeah, so right now... Uh... Since I can give him directions for free, I'm going to tell him to target the king. Okay. Just until I can actually take control and stuff. We'll see how it goes. Leo. I have so many things I want to do right now, it's not even funny. I still see that, uh, the drow, right? Yes. Oh, good. Um, and is this room pretty shadowy? Uh, do you see the shadows that you see from your vantage? This is concentration up to an hour. I'm assuming this guy won't attack me now that I can go near it. No. So I will go to the corner over here as far as I can. Then I'm going to use my shadow step power to teleport 60 feet. Mm -hmm. Boom. Uh, teleport 60, I said. You have to teleport to a shadow. Which shadow are you teleporting to? I gotta measure it out. I'm sorry. Give me a second, please. Uh, it would be... Uh, let's do this one. And then I'm gonna spend a key point to do a dash to get right in front of this guy's face. So I basically burned everything just to get in front of him. So now all of a sudden he sees like an elf that's mirror image right in front of him with a missing arm. Just a question. All right. Yes. Uh, your shadow step. What, what action economy is that? It's a uh, shadow arts power. I can use a key point to. Uh... Is it a bonus action? 
uh, when you I think it's a bonus as action. a bonus action, yes. Right, because yeah. your key point to move again was also bonus action. Uh, yeah. Well, you can't yeah, do two bonus. You can't no, do. You only get one bonus action to turn unless you have something that gives it. A, well, like, he could just dash as an action. He just won't get to attack. All right, you know what? I'm over here. I'm throwing the mirror's edge at him. I'm going to do psychic damage at him. Okay. Fuck him. That's a miss. It's a bad time to do that. Well, well you can recall it and throw it again. Yeah, it gets recalled, so... Uh, all right. But well, you so used no... your bonus action, so no, you don't get to recall. Oh. That's bad. Oh, it's a bonus. Yeah, I, I keep thinking a it's a reaction. Stuff. A lot of the stuff you'll have, I think that'd be worse if it was a reaction. I don't know. I don't know how big up Lael is on counter, uh, op attacking, so. Not really. Yeah, because you're not doing a lot of little damage, but like a lot of like small cuts. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, I see him, and I'm going after him. Okay. Yeah, something. Some joke about ICU in the ICU. Belloc? Which is probably a bad idea because I have 23 hit points right now, but. Yeah, fuck and he's an assassin. Um, I guess I'm gonna shoot the fire giant on the north side. Mm -hmm. uh, never stop sniping. Uh, I believe two bar. hits. So what, 36 damage? Yeah. That's fine. Not worth precision striking on a 12. Hicks. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and second win right now, then see how far I can move, then make my save. So let's go ahead and start at the top then. Second win is gonna give me 21 points. Big, big money right there. Alright, I can move 15 feet, so I could move up to here. And then basically not be in reach of anything. So I'm going to go ahead and dodge as an actual action. And let's see if I make the save. You don't have increased range for your size? Uh, nope, the spell does not do that for you at all. Uh, you just get bigger. You only make your body bigger. Your arms are T-Rex. Exactly. That's uh, so weird, though. dude. That is so weird. Yeah. However, I do go ahead and recover from slow. And that's the whole turn. Yep. And, oh, I do get the five... Temporary. Okay. Uh, dominate his concentration. Yeah. So you're saying he doesn't have whatever spell you put on him anymore? No. So you don't get the five? Yeah. Temp HP is now banned Talk under you, the Griff. Geneva Convention. Yeah, I know, I know. Alright, sorry. He's just... Uh, he's gonna go here. Gonna take a shot at Axios. Two shots, in fact. Oh, he's ignoring me, a little bastard. Is it the same guy? Yeah. Is he on top of the throne? Uh, no, behind it. Right, right. Just mean he doesn't have a shot where where he is. That's why I was confused. Yeah. And he moves one, and then moves back again. So Axios is behind a pillar. Yeah. I guess he has. He, he, ha he 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 has an ability allows him to attack. My brain fart. I call him a snipe shooter. Snipe shooter. God, there's so much text. I know. So you take nine points of damage with two piercing, and you have to make a DC, uh, DC constitution or be slowed. Or paralyzed if you okay. can. So nine plus two, okay. You took 11 points of damage and you had to make a DC uh, 16. Con. You're slowed. Cool. And you so, have to make a check to see if you don't lose your. Uh... Also fine. Uh, but you can only either use an action or a bonus action. Now. 
Mm-hmm. King Snur. Uh, he can. He's just gonna hold a rocket. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, like a Nick, a kicks. There is a column directly between us, but he can certainly do it. Yeah, he's gonna. Oh, he's gonna go for. Oh, yeah, he. This guy lost his five points. Okay, he's gonna go for the Imperium. Now that's a hit. This one, uh, north and south one. Uh, the north one. All right, I'll go ahead and use my shield now that I have my reaction back. Mm -hmm. Aha! Six points. So that's that'll surely help on the critical hit. Fifty-nine. 61. Yeah, he's down. Yeah, he's he is unconscious. Oh shit! He's dying. He's dying. Uh, his brother sees us and roars like, "How dare you!" Sefta. Kind of the only thing that's useful right now. Uh, go over to Big Man himself mm -hmm. and administer a potion of healing. Okay. So he's not dying, dying. That's seven points. Uh, the remaining Hellhound. It's gonna breathe. Actually, no, he's gonna make a saving throw. How much damage? What's the base damage of that spell? What spell? The 3d8. The... Yeah, you're gonna kill him, but he's still gonna. He's gonna, he's gonna die. Oh, but... oh, you mean the my spell? Yeah. Yeah. 3d8. Yeah, he's gonna die, but he's gonna breathe. Uh, first, he's gonna try to recharge. Six. He does recharge, so he is going to breathe fire on both of you. Uh, make saving throws. DC, DC twelve, I believe is. The... DC twelve this year. Yeah. Oh dear. I miss. No, that's Alexander. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I, that's what you're hitting, right? Six, six, six. Yeah. Uh, Twenty points of damage. Imperium. Oh, he misses. So he takes also takes twenty points of damage. But the thing takes sixteen back, so I assume it's down. Yeah, it's dead. Okay. And you go simultaneously. So, Alexander, what are you gonna do? Get right in the center here. So let me actually map it. Um, it the um, the Imperium there has been stabilized. Yeah. Yeah, he's on the ground though. He fell to the ground. You know, I'm gonna double move and get in between them to protect him from the giants. Okay. Puts the giant and the king in my uh, aura. Oh, puts his guys too as well. Uh, if he's dominated, takes damage. Does that does anything for the dominate? Um, let's see. Has he taken damage? Well, he will in the beginning of his round. I okay. don't think it does. Uh, it's not for dominate. I don't know. For dominate so, monster, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, each time the target takes damage, it makes a new wisdom saving throw against the spell. Yeah. Ah, so it does. So new save. There so you go. Kind, probably want to stand maybe like one further up. Here. Yeah, right there. All right. So would that still cover the king for at least a round? No, but he will kill, uh, attack this guy on the top. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, it's the Elysian's turn. Imperium, yeah. Okay, this guy um, um, flies off to give his space and goes for the mall. This guy's also going to go for the mall. Not sure he is. He can. F Where can he fly? Into music? 50. Yeah, there's a column there, so. Ooh. Oh, he actually, he's just going to go for the, uh, for the ray. On the same guy. Actually, he's going to go for, for Snur. 
a bolt for snore. Yeah. The bolt for snore. And let me see. Snore. Uh, snore is. Yeah, that's a hit on snore. With 26, 27 points of damage. And the other Imperium is going to go for the mall. Twenty-nine points of damage on this guy, and let's see if this guy—he's gonna make the saving throw. He does. He's not stunned. So the fire giant is gonna respond uh, with two sword strikes, completely ignoring Alexander. Well, he's gonna he's gonna divide it. One for you, one for uh for Alexander. Alright. The Alexander mm, misses. misses. But down goes again the Imperium. Uh, and he oh. takes that move. And uh the giant takes seventeen from the spirit guardians. Oh he has to make a saving throw first. Uh, so that's a wisdom, right? Yeah. Uh it wisdom, is yes. He takes 17. And he's going to recoil back. He's going to step back. Huh? It, well, so you, you can make a an attack against him. Hell yeah. No. Axios. Uh, did the controlled fire giant do stuff? Uh, what did you... I mean, controlling I told him to... is an action. Yeah. So, uh, you drink the potion see, and and, and as, dominate the him. Telepathic link, the same plan. You can use to issue commands while you are conscious. No action required, which it does its best to obey. Uh, simple and general course of action, such as attack that creature, the king. Uh, and then you can use an action to take totally precise control of the target. Oh yeah, so he's gonna attack two attacks on. Yeah. More. Ooh, ow, ow, that's gonna hurt him. Yeah! That's 35, that's 55, 59 points of damage. That, that's what I want to see, I love it. Yeah. And, and then soon like, Raydor! Wait, it says in giant, so, you know, you guys don't understand what yeah. he's saying. Uh, 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 on my turn, let's see, well, I'm, I need to go back and read the mm -hmm. creature affected by this poison. Makes a con save at the end of its turn, ending the effect. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna make a, a con save? Uh, no, that was for the slowed I was reading. Yeah, okay. Oh, so but the fire gonna... can get another wisdom save for. Let's see. For, for Dominic, um, correct? Advantage. That's how the spell works. That's also causing. Uh, it's only when it takes damage. Okay. Dominate is a high level spell. <laughs> Alright, so for my turn, I'm gonna keep having him do that. Okay. And I'm. I only get one action or bonus action, right? Mm hmm. And half your movement. Half my movement, okay. If you're worried about being. If you're worried about being shot, I was gonna go after that guy and get him off you. Yeah. Um. I'm just going to take the hide action. So I'm, I'm going to hide behind the pillar. Okay. Leo. Uh, first thing, I would like to recall Mirror's Edge. Okay. It's a bonus action. Then move over here and I just go to town on this guy. Okay. Uh, that was the bonus action for the Mirror's Edge, so I cannot mm -hmm. use a key point. So just three hits. Go ahead. 25, 14, 26. Uh, 26 and 25 hit. All right, he takes 16 damage, and I'm making my presence known to him at this point. Okay. Belloc. Uh, and then four more shots at the same fire giant. This one? Ten misses. I didn't see you ping anything, but yeah, this one. Yeah. Come on. I clicked you. 
Come on. It'll load. Clicking it again. 38 damage. Yeah. Kicks. Hey. Kicks finally gets to finally engage. Woo! It's excitement. Hey. It's time. It's time for the Royal oh. Rumble. I need um, to kick the shield. Too. And your and your alliance is a threat to Greyhawk, and I'm ending it now. And I'm pulling out Storm Fury. So let's do it. One, two, and three. And oh, oh, oh shit. shit. This is some pretty good looking Ooh. stuff right here. And we're gonna go ahead and pop off a disarming strike as well for an additional eight damage, and he has to make a strength save. So that is 15, 30, 35, 55, Damn. 63 total damage. Damn. The king did not like that. And if he's still up from that, isn't he? I'll action the yeah. surge. I'll do it three more times. Okay. Man. One, two. Oh. That double crit oh. hit three. Oh, God. Yeah, double the cr double crit hit. I don't suppose fifteen does. Twenty seven more. Didn't think so. Oh gosh, this is oh this is brutal. <laughs> this is brutal. Nice, Ooh, nice. Stalker. He turns on you and says, "In accented Elven, that was a mistake. That your life will be dead gone soon, you bastard." He's gonna make. Uh, two attacks. Yes. Um, All right. Oh, right. I also get to roll uh forty-four more because of being giant, real quick. So that's eleven more damage. Um, oh, I forgot about that. That's the important part. Um. Oh, and I guess one of them is also doubled for the crit. There we go. 13 more. Yeah, you, you killed him. Ah, oh, oh my god. <laughs> the very fact that I'm so huge, I just walked yeah, he missed. him and he's so he huge. Two, he rolled 15s twice, so yeah, he missed. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> uh, Step sorry back. to hit you with that mid turn. <laughs> um. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Does that demoralize the giants at this point? Like, we just killed their fucking king. Well, you one's take... dominated, so... Take one's his... dominated. Dude, take his crown, take his throne. Uh, so I'm about uh... to. <laughs> he's gonna... Yeah, he's demoralized. Oh, well, he has penalties now. Uh, uh... Said that, what are you gonna do? If that dying. Stabilize? He stabilized. I was gonna say Alexander was gonna do the last of his lay on hands on him to get him up. Yeah, he he's he's stabilized at least, which is good. Uh, and walk forward. Can't stop, won't stop. Uh, Alexander, what are you gonna do? So I don't have to do lay on hands on him. Uh, unless you want him to be awake, no. If he stabilized and we're good, maybe he's good if he stays down, charging in. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, neither hit. Ned. The Imperium. He sees that and he's going to... Yeah, he can fly over here and fly above you well. And he is going to maul this guy. Rava! Oh... Oh, Ooh. that hurt. That hurt. Yikes. Don't mess with family, dude. Oh my god. Yeah. So it turns out this guy's name is actually Vin Diesel. <laughs> uh, let me see. Con save. Yeah, he made it. Fire Giant. Uh, he's. Okay, he's gonna try to make the saving throw. Yeah, do the regular one first. Yeah. So. Still. 
even with the saving throw, he's dead. Cool. Nice. Uh, then I will just command the one to rush the dude all the way in the back. Okay. No, no, he's mine. He's got nothing else to do. We're not going to kill him yet. I, I will purposely... Besides, he's not even there yet. I know, I will purposely prevent you from allowing you to attack him. Uh, make a con save? Nope. Yeah, uh... Leo. Yeah, who's making mistakes now? Alright, 8, 12, uh, 7, and 13, so 12, 13, 25... 33, 40 damage to him. Yeah, he's still there. I, ju I just imagine, like, you just see Lael using the dagger and, like, shanking him while he uses his metal arm to punch him square in the jaw, knocking out teeth right now. And it's not really graceful at this point, like he normally is. Just going Bella. for a full beat down. Well, you don't see anybody from here, Bella, because you see, you see Lael attacking somebody behind this gigantic throne, so, but you don't see the target. Yeah, start cover from. I would I would say to everybody else, start looting the bodies. I'm going to do this. Either he kills me or I kill him. That's how it's going to go. What are you going to do, Belloc? Oh, I did it. Okay. By the way, you did recognize that this is your this was your original target as well. Oh, okay. the, uh, the the drow is his target. Yeah. Uh, all right. Don't mind. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I thought when you, you said I recognize it, I thought you meant the king. No, no. Uh, the target was the, the, the drop. Standard uh, action. Hits. Crown. Hits. My head. <laughs> Very <laughs> important. It, it's an iron crown. It's made out of iron. But even, even if you're enlarged, it's still too big for your head. Uh, like, there it, we go. It, it, can, it go. All the way to your nose. Like. Uh, you know, I'll just I'll, I'll tilt, tilt it back a little well, bit. Well, I can't know because you, you have a snout, so it doesn't... <laughs> I'm going to turn right. back to normal size and be trapped under the helmet is what's going to happen. But yeah, I advance a little bit because I have nothing else to do. It's uh, the crown from Disney's Robin Hood. Yeah, exactly. Never fits on that lion's head. <laughs> Alright, this guy's turn? Yeah. Bring it on. Ooh. That's a hit. Uh, now, how do I know if he hits one of the doubles? Uh, you have to roll. It's a d20, right? Yeah, it's a d20. Uh, nine. When I think that's fall. enough. What is yeah. there a... First of all, what is the... What is your... Your dex is 20, right? Yeah, my dex is 20. So, so he needs a 15, 15 to hit one. Yeah. Roll a d30. Did roll a d30. Yeah, roll a d30. But I don't really know what's again. going on, but I don't know you roll a d30 for anything. So the second one misses entirely... Okay, let me re-roll it again. I rolled an 11. Uh, it hits a duplicate. Okay. So you have two duplicates. Well, it misses the duplicate, though. Well, the first, the second one does. The first one is before the mirror image. Oh, sorry, I didn't see the... Yeah, yeah I, I had to scroll so the, the, so the first one hits, okay. So. Yeah, the first one hits the duplicate, the second one misses outright. Uh, Sevda... You take nine points of damage, Leo. Oh, I still take damage? Yeah. No, it hits the duplicate instead. The first the first attack hit the, the duplicate? Yeah. The first attack hit the duplicate. The second attack missed him and the duplicate. Okay. Remember, yeah, they have an AC of 15. Yeah. yeah. Complicated spell. Uh, Sevda walks forward. A bit too complicated. It used to be they just miss automatically and you hit one of the yeah. but that was or what are we doing with this other giant are we gonna kill him or not he's ours for an hour man all right uh alexander you already took the crown right mm -hmm. i'm sure this guy has some good stuff on him still too but we're gonna move forward that's it okay yeah the imperium is gonna to his brothers like let's go brother it's time to go home but no I must I must help them they saved me I I, I owe them my lives I must get them out of here very well 
fire, what's the fire gonna, giant gonna do? Uh, he's gonna walk over here and then stand there menacingly. Okay. If he can make like a intimidation or something. And he intimidates. The charisma? No. Mm. He's just standing there menacingly. Axios. Make a con save. Okay, I'm no longer slowed. Um, all right, I'm I'm going forward. No, you can't do anything. That's at the end of the turn. Oh yeah. yeah. So I'm moving like him, yeah. fifteen. No, no, no. You, the saving throw is the oh, last thing. Oh, am I? Doing, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. I'll just stay hidden. Leo. I'm not uh, even going to use brother. Mirror's Edge. I'm just going to punch the shit out of him at this point. Okay. The beat down. Uh, 18? Yeah. He's dead. Oh, okay. As I'm killing him, I have my robot arm uh, reach out, grab his neck. I mm -hmm. uh, just assume he's like choking slowly, and then I just snap it. And as you as you do this, you your hand gets entangled in his symbol that he has a triangle on it, mm -hmm. and it's a, and you rip it out, and the triangle just ding ding ding. The, the tin crown hits on the ground. Ding 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 ding. ding. I pick he, up. Didn't, the... he didn't even get a, a a final word. He just hit him so fast. I took it. He doesn't deserve a final word. Uh, I pick up the triangle and I pick up his effects, and then I also punch his corpse one more time. Okay. Well, taking out his frustrations over there. Kicks. Just going over the throne. Good job, Lael. Ah, this feels good. Sifa says, Sifa say to everybody, uh, it is time to go. We have done what we came here to do. You've done us all a great service and a great service to, to uh, the state of Greyhawk. And when thank that you for all that you've when, done. when that giant uh, snaps out of his control, he will alert the others and start screaming. So it's the best we go before it's too late. I start uh, you know, 40, 50, five minutes still. That's fine. Let, let's, uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna spend like two minutes to search the dead drow's body to see if there's any other things besides his necklace. No, he just has some vials of poison. Alright, so nothing else? Okay. No. You can give those to Belloc. Yep. I could. You what now? Some vials poison. of poison. I don't yeah. use poison. Mm. But you could. Yeah. Well, yeah, I can do also, a lot of things that I don't do. Uh, Kix, please search the, the giant king. I'm sure he has, like, other shit on him. And if he doesn't, I'll be surprised. Yep. That's the next thing yeah. on the agenda. Let's see, what does is, what is the giant actually have? Giant king. See what uh, ran home. See what number is this? Go back. This is number okay, plus two. ten holy avenger plus five angelic plate mail. Uh, seventeen potions of godly might. Uh, seven scrolls of wish and uh, a wafer thin mint. That's a lot of stuff. Treasure, okay. Uh, the crown has six rubies on it. Ooh. Ooh. And six diamonds. And a huge jacinth or jacinth. Uh, his necklace has a value, uh, is also valuable. And his girdle is also has six gems as well, six garnets. Uh, There's a lot of gem work here. And he is, his cape is uh, pretty well... Uh, it's pretty cool as well. It seems to be well crafted. Uh, there seems also to be several gems embedded in the throne, but those are going to take time to get out. So, yeah. Right. Well, we could probably spend a little time on that because we're not bringing a stone throne with us. Yeah. Well, all right. Um, I'm. I, I mean, the Imperians are leaving. They're going yeah. to the door. They're yeah. Like, all right. Grab all this stuff it. off the the king and let's get out of here. Let's have a bat. Let me tell you what the king has so you can mark it, and then I'm going to tell you the, the price. It has six rubies, six diamonds, a, a huge Jason, a Jason, and a necklace, uh, a valuable necklace uh, with six, 66 garnets and the cape.
Uh, like that? Yeah. Okay. And you said a, a belt or a girdle? Yeah. That's the one with the... Uh, with the garnet? With the garnets, yeah. Oh, uh, that was a necklace then. Okay, cool. Never mind. All right, let's okay. go. We got our stuff. Let's get out of here. Right. Whoosh. They went, they went this way, I believe, right? South? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Whoosh. They destroyed a fire giant t kingdom. It's, uh... It's definitely a strange thing for them to recover from now, but yeah. our mission is accomplished. I would prefer to just GTFO at this point. Yeah. As you make the long climb outside, you realize you're pretty high up. You're high up in the mountains. Um, and you're like, where do we go, right? Um, but you, since you have a high vantage point, you see in the, in the distance, take you several days to travel from this point, but you can see it, uh, a valley. And it's, it's like a concave opening. And it's very distinct because it has, a, has an opening that looks like a giant uh, maw. Uh, opening and the other thing that you see is you see tiny little figures you see a lot of them like ants from your position um let's see so what are you gonna do there's you know there's a there's several paths down the mountain i mean it's, it's a mountainside but it'll take you a while to find a place and you realize that eventually somebody's gonna find the bodies mm -hmm. and they may come looking for you so right. uh you know see if it says we need a place to recover even our Agreed. mighty strength is not enough, considering what happened. My brother needs rest. Like and he's, he tries to wave him off, but he's—I mean, he's bloodied. I mean, he fell twice. He's like a swollen eye, and you know, like almost like a half a tooth missing. Like, you know, he—he right. he got pretty beat up. We need to find some shelter, and then we need to camp and plot our next move. Is there any way we could search for shelter around here? What would be that? Like a nature or something? Survival, survival. probably. Survival. Yeah. Who has survival still? Not any of us. I uh, have a two. I am technically proficient. Hey, technically proficient. That's the best kind of proficient. Got a whole plus six. Yeah. That's hey, better than us. A... I think that's the best. Good. Yeah. Yeah, let me make sure I'm not rolling anything weird. So, yeah, there you go. I was going to say, does yeah. Baylock have survival or no? Um, does he? I mean, I'm not trained in it. I'm as good as you are. Fair enough. Okay. Probably worse. Uh, I mean, where are we right now, uh, location-wise? I'm gonna put you in the map. Uh, and is it daytime? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you're no, I'm worse. So you're somewhere over here. I recognize okay. that. I recognize that map. It's a repurposed map. Of course. Yeah. So oh, somewhere you know. this square, you say, right? How'd you, how'd you get the map to fit the uh, the uh, the hexes? Very uh, carefully is the answer. Yeah, very careful. Yeah, that's yeah. how you do it. You just you just test until you get it right with the hexes. Uh, but yeah, if we're right here and uh, the what what was it that we saw in the distance exactly just like a singular structure with lots of people or what you saw like a in between the mountains you see like an opening like a, a small valley and you saw this sort of giant that looks like a maw maybe it looks like a dragon's uh opening and then you see like a like a large parade ground and you see tiny little features which means there's a lot of them in in, in arm in formation like preparing to march uh, yeah uh, we could try heading deeper into the mountains, like up near this uh, water source, because if we can see it down here, then it goes into the mountains here. But as you're looking uh, for a shelter and you find a shelter, you realize uh, as you're coming in that you, so you see you see something uh, like a small cave, and you see a creature that familiar to you sort of resting on top of the cave with two paws and lionine paws. And let me see to show the audience. Oh, it's called B Gar 3.0. No, uh, yeah. it's Car Carpathia. It's the Sphinx. It's the Sphinx. 
Carpathia. What is she doing here? That's a great question. See, oh, let me reload because. Uh... So she's there, and she's like, oh, "I've been waiting for you." And he, uh, she looks at the Titans. She looks at the Titans and goes, "Like, oh my, you have interesting company." And you see that that Sithis kind of bows to Carpathia, like, "Manady has been a very long time." You've met before. We um, we're in the same circle, so to speak. Uh, well, it's good to know that we're all friends here. And the introductions don't have to go on too long either. You know, let me see. Show players, so you guys can see. Oh. Yep. Back to Carpathia. I remember her. Uh, and yeah. Um... We don't need the stats, but we do need to see the effects. And yep. you see that with him, uh, with her, I should say, because he's a giant sphinx, is several kobolds. Uh, they're like, they're, they're like, they're like, hey, can help us out, please. Wait, it's too high. You got to try to help them out, kind of on the top of the cave, right? <laughs> uh, and a uh, zigzag. Oh, hello, zigzag. Good thing about, she says, good thing about um, having oracular visions is that sometimes you get a good one when the gods deemed to reveal themselves in a particular way. I had a vision that you would be here. Not why, but I suspect I know why. And she sort of points a claw at, at the lower valley and says, Indeed, I'm having a bit of a vision myself here right now. We have to deal with this. I have some ideas, but it will take some time. We need to rest. Perhaps our Imperi, our Titanic friends, will be able to help. But I don't think we even with our help we'll be able to take all of them. But perhaps give you a something of an advantage to get through, and hopefully deal with what's inside. Indeed, strike for the head is what we're in store for. Yeah, and you see, and you see the cave is small, so that the parents have to sort of crouch right in. And you see the one of the brothers sort of tending to the others, like, I wish I could get more ambrosia for you, brother, but. You drank it all in one go. Those shrugs, like, eh. Um, I, I, Alexander would ask if he needs help with attending to his wounds at all. Just need some rest. All right. Yeah. Uh, if you're gonna check the treasure, yep. to see what. How much it cost, and you know, tend to your wounds and take a long rest. This will be the time to do it. Yeah, well, long rest is necessary at this rate. Ew, oh, yeah. Um, and I don't suppose uh, Axios or you could or Sevda could tell if any of this happens to just be magic by coincidence. Uh, I mean, other than, like, an Arcana roll? Probably not. I mean, it sounds like a good idea to me. Give us an Arcana roll. Okay. Well, if we're both doing it, just roll with advantage. Fifteen? Yeah. Uh, the, the cape is magical. Okay. Ooh. But does it, it is... More? <laughs> no, on the contrary, it feels cold. Oh, actually, no. God. Actually, it feels kind. Of, it actually feels kind of warm. Actually, yeah. That's that's it. Oh, uh, Just it like the game is meant to be. Uh, but you know, in a strange way, like it is not overwhelming. It's like if you were, you know, you put it together and you sort of your temperature sort of normalizes. It's a because it's pretty cold out here. It's it's high altitude. Uh, it's a cape of cold resistance. The irony. Yeah. I know. Perfect for the fire giant in us all. Yep. Can we cut up the cape so we all can have a piece of it as our own capes? No, they're magical. They and cut they up the magical the cape magic. and turn it into gloves for all of us so that our hands don't get cold. <laughs> no, I, no, I, no, I, it's a giant cape, so I figure if we cut it up, we could probably have capes for everybody. It doesn't, if you cut it, cut it up. Yeah, very you know, thin capes. Destroy. Yeah, I, 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 
I was half joking about that. I'm just. I mean, it's a large cave, but it will cover multiple people. Mm -hmm. Right? It's a giant size. Cape. What you do is actually you take the cape and you throw it over a low table, uh, like uh, Japanese people do when they're gathering. Since we don't need a heater underneath now, we just have I think a cape that's like a kotetsu or something. I can't yeah. remember the name of it. I just know it's apparently really yeah. comfortable in gatherings. I mean, it looks comfy. But no, I'm going to wear 15 foot of cape myself. <laughs> no, does anyone uh, does anyone need to wear it or want it? Uh, no. Are you waiting at night, folks? Um, right, I'll go ahead and take it. Kabathi has a... She's been conversing in some strange language. You understand, again, the way that the, the appearance, appearance talk is, essentially they talk, and everybody understands them. So you understand their side of the of the conversation, but not hers. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. what, language is language, she, what language is she speaking? Language you do not understand. Bitter back. No. It is literally Greek to you. <laughs> I love it. Uh, and uh, and there's like, uh, we have some ideas. We can create some distractions. And you see that the uh, the uh, kobolds are like, yeah, we finally can use, use this, yes. And Zigzag is like, well, that doesn't sound like a good idea, but okay. <laughs> and they have like little stones with runes on them. It's like, yeah. And he goes to, to uh, Kicks, boss, we can make a distraction. Loud enough to like, you know, have them scramble. But you're gonna have to run into it, otherwise it's it's gonna be a mess. You don't get a you don't get a second chance. Of course okay? he takes the stairs off into the sky because you know the player yeah, who controls yeah. it is here. Yeah. Uh but every he you know, the couple starts speaking common so everybody can hear this. Yeah. Just talking to Kicks because he's a dragon point. I'll I'll also be right back real quick. Makes you in charge, Axios. <laughs> oh, God. I just got here. So, you have a distraction? Well, yeah. I mean, we can uh, detonate these. These are thunderstones. They'll make a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. so if we place them in the right place. We might be able to distract a lot of the soldiers and just, you're going to have to bolt it to the door. I mean, he looks at it, he's like, he, he appears like that's a big, big opening. So yeah. Okay. But yeah, and and the and the appearances we can also create. Uh, we can shape the ground with our walls in such a way that mm -hmm. it will be both confusing and uh, and terrifying, at least for a moment. In essence, they can do earthquake spells with. And we're yeah. attacking with their malls, right? They, they didn't just do it in... bring down the building if it's earthquake, yeah. <laughs> they didn't do it indoors because, you know, it would have yeah. been the entire... That would be incredibly down, dangerous, but... yeah. Yeah, but... Um... And that is supposed to give us enough time to run all Yeah, the they're going to make, you know, I mean, two two okay. titans show up and there's yeah. stones and all that and they start hitting the ground, whatever. The troops are going to move and these guys can fly as well. So, yeah, they can engage you in opening, but after that, it's... Uh... It's up to us to kill the things inside. Yes. Hmm. Slightly less than an army inside. Yeah. Oh, well, it's not horrible. Alright, so uh, since I did miss a little bit of the plan... Uh, is there any part I really need to know about? The kobolds with kobolds and zigzags have thunderstones, which are basically they're throw you know thunder grenades, yeah. right? Um, they have several of those, and they're going to throw them in, or place in places that make a lot of noise, right? The idea is to simulate a, a, a very large attack. Right, um, right. So they're they're part of the overall distraction plan, and the distraction yeah. gets us inside. Okay. Yeah. 
But what happens inside, that's entirely up to you. <laughs> Let's see, is there anything else I have? We still have two potions of troll's blood left. Anyone want to take a claim to any of those? I guess uh, I should mention that to Vale when he gets back. Um, let's see. I'm out of healing potions. We don't have poison resist. I got the potion of heroism. Uh, what else do we have, Axios? I think you've been keeping track of some of the recent things we've acquired, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have, uh, <clears throat> on the bigger side of things, we still have the gate, uh, greater restoration, and divine word. Search to find where gate sounds. Don't sounds like it could be fascinating anymore. Problem is, you need a name or somebody to call. Yeah, we have <laughs> a potion of. You would have to make a yeah. You have to make a pact or something with somebody. I mean, if the yeah, Imperium there, there's Imperium complicated to, text to read here. I think if the Imperials were to leave this plane and go back to where they come from, you could call them back with a gate. At least one of them. Anyway, because you know their names, but they're that's here, cool. so yeah. Yeah, so that that's all right, mood. Um, we have a high level magic missile, a lesser restoration protection from poison. Oh yeah, while I'm here, uh, a scroll of cure wounds and a potion of cure wounds, which I have personally. Okay, so still some extra uses. Um, Axios, yeah. you said that you were all out. You were completely tapped, is that right? I have one spell slot. Okay, and what about Sevda? No spell slots. Okay, so I was gonna see like, hey, do you have anything you want to put into the ring? I can put in one thing right now. Uh, let's do it. So I, I mean, guess... remember you're taking a long rest, so you're gonna recover everything. Yeah. Right, right. Gonna, but you have to do it. Oh, yeah, you have to put this, the spells before, yeah. otherwise, you have to. Yeah. I can yeah. give you, like, a counter spell. Uh, that would be interesting. I'll take it. Not sure. I could give you enemies abound, I think. I'll, I'll take counter spell. I have a feeling that might come in handy. Okay. And honestly, more handy than other things, and it fills up the ring so we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, it is just one, which is why I... Yeah, and then we'll take a long rest. Alright. So we perfect. have an extra counter spell at the disposal. Or for this. English. If we're summoning somebody, I still say if we're allowed to, let's go for Braith and his good spirit or something. And then, I'm guessing our temporary hit points are fucked by now. If we're gonna summon anybody, you know who we really should summon? Warburn. From like the very beginning, uh, <laughs> your first. Yeah, the problem. The comes problem back is nobody, one. nobody here knows Oliver. Uh, my True. my character technically knew oh, them, but yeah, yeah, right. Remember that's yeah. how he overthrew me as the uh, chief headhunter. Is that? I know Oliburn, everyone loves me. Where did my good friend <laughs> Oliburn go? Yeah. I believe his claim was. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're gonna summon him and uh, and uh, level him up, so that that sounds like effort. Yeah, it sounds like uh, stuff. To that do. sounds like effort. Jeez, maybe, maybe between sessions we'll talk. About I'm I'm still pushing for Braith, just because I Braith, think it would be Braith amazing would be a cool choice. But he, we would also have to level him up too, and then you'll be running three characters. I don't fucking care. Braith is worth it. <laughs> there you go. Uh, if that sounds good to you, lessons is something that you think uh, you want to have happen. We could go ahead and do gate and bring that in. And they, they also have to successfully here here. cast gate. Oh. Oh yes, this is awfully true. It's a big spell. How do you feel about yeah. casting a ninth level spell? Uh, uh let's see. They, they get to come and stay. The gate just remains open for a minute. They don't disappear at the end of the summon. Uh, no, let's see. Believe, it's right? But you have to roll. There's a there's a percentage you can fail. Yeah, 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 yeah. Though, yeah. 
And failure is not simply you fail to summon Oliburn. You might attract the attention of something else. Right, right, right. Uh, so yeah, I leave this in Axios and Sevda's capable hands, as you wish. Let's see. If the head creature is on a plane, yeah, portal opens, draws a creature through ten years. Okay. I mean... It's possible to cast it? What's, what's the... What's I, the I would at? have to look at some things to see what shenanigans I can do to make it possible. Like, okay. realistically possible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So give me give me a minute here. Okay, doke. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Lael, I have two trolls blood potions left. Uh, I will give you one right now, and we are going to have to do a lot of work. So. Lael is Lael is actually ignoring you because he's looking at the. Uh symbol in his hand right now. You know, you really think killing his sister's killer would have made him happy. I say to it's no one, on. this is like an outside observation. <laughs> right, right. I don't know what's going on anymore. Lail, Lail actually is not happy. Um, I mean, he looks up the kicks and he says, oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. It's that same cult again. This trifecta. I Here, just... if you need it. I, I, if you excuse me, I need to meditate for a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, of course. You did get to... there, Lail. And uh, Lail's actually going to um, try and contact uh, the goddess one more time. Here we yeah. go. I'll, I always forget her name. Uh, Jean-Yé. Jean Jean yeah. Forget our, that's names. Uh, so you 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 uh, you go to a corner. You, know, you actually have to go outside to have privacy, right? And it's cold out here. You can actually find an, an outcrop cropping that looks out, and you can see in the distance the sea, right? You're looking at the other the direction, and in fact, you also see among the mountains. Uh, you see that one of them is actually spewing um, right in the middle here, um, black smoke. That's never a good sign now, is it? Uh, so, so, so you sit and you're there and you, you feel, you feel like, like hands that have embraced you. You hear a familiar voice, a voice you haven't heard in, no, well, very long time. That's, it's okay, brother. It's I time act for you. It's Actually, time for you to let me go, and you and you turn around and you find yourself in sort of this area of mist, like the mountain is not there. It's you and your sister, and she says, "It's time for me to let, let. It's time for you to let me go." You know I can't still. Give it time. After all these years, I thought. I could finally find them and I thought it would go I thought it would be easier now it was never about him you know that don't you then what was it always about your pain your loss and everything I sacrificed for that too yeah. For pain and loss to never feel feel like I'm over it, never feel complete again. You wouldn't have felt complete until you accomplished your task. Now you have. Now and the why? real healing now the real healing begins. doesn't feel worth it though in May in time if you accept that I'm gone and that you have done your duty then that would help 
but you have to let me go. Remember me, who, who I was? What you liked about me, what you cared about me? Not the pain and the suffering. Move beyond that night. You have confronted your fears and your nightmares and you have defeated them. Lil is just silent uh, and doesn't even know what to say. He can't even look at like the image of his sister. Instead of she puts her hand on, on your chin, it's like, it's okay, brother. Hopefully you will have a very long life. When it is done, I will be here for you. Thank you. Eh, I was better than you anyway, so. If I stuck around, then, you know. <laughs> well, that's fucking rude, out of character. Roasted. <laughs> It's your sister. She's just roasting you. I, I, I know. I know. I know. Um, we're having this like dramatic moment now. She's like being a. She's being like a brat. Oh god, bro. Uh, she's just fucking with you. Deal with it. I know. Uh, in character, Lil kind of smiles and he says, "Well, you'd probably still be whole at least." And I kind of glance at the robot arm. It is what it is. Remember your training. And when you see says remember the training, you you sense a change in the voice. Mm hmm You overcome your um your hurdles. There was a time where you couldn't walk. Where you crawled. There was a time where you couldn't run. But you walked. Does the voice the voice change real quick? It sounds like the goddess now. Yeah. It's still the your the face and, and presence of your sister, but it's it's different. I see. You okay. you, you feel a, a pressure in the air, like the air itself has become sort of like a physical, you know, almost like a like a blanket around you. Yeah. Um, you you're clearly in the presence of something much bigger than yourself. Then it'll be now a you, day then it'll be a day at a time then. It always has been. Enlightenment always is that way. You have learned more, my child. But you're not done yet. There's more to do. Of that I agree with. Now do be careful when you get up. You don't want to fall from the mountain. It's a long way down. And you sort of, when she says it, like, what? And you realize you're still in the outcropping. They're like, yeah. Like, well, yeah, that's a long way down. <laughs> that is. Yeah. E even with the slow fall, I think I'll be in trouble. Yeah. All right. I, uh, after that, uh, Lael feels a little bit better. And is going to go back inside. And he has a smile on his face. Yeah, uh, I think it was less spiteful because it was like a bigger tragedy and all my self-loathing is already half out of me. I am sorry, did you say it was a bigger tragedy? I don't know. I feel like that's what you just said. Yes. Yeah, that's a hurtful thing to say. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be hurtful of what happened to Gar's family. Well, <laughs> we can cast I mean, Gate. Do you want to? It's possible. I've figured everything I can do out. There's a reasonable shot at doing it. Is there any way to give you an advantage to doing it? Yes. And what's that? Help action, sacrifice. which I can, I can do. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and make that our so, next theme. Who are we summoning from wherever? Uh, we are summoning the spirit of Braith. 
to return once again to the world of the living to finish what we started together. Hold on, I gotta get his token back if this works, because I deleted it <laughs> okay. a while ago. So, this is a DC 19 uh, spell to cast. Mm -hmm. It only takes an action, I guess. So it doesn't actually take very long. Uh, we have plus five to the roll. We have an inspiration, which is a d10, and advantage. And so there is a decent chance of it working out. However, there's also a chance it goes horribly, horribly wrong. What happens on a misfire? In the spell, nothing. In uh, lessons choice, I don't know. <laughs> so already you're looking at like seventy-five percent chance of success or so, and then you also have advantage, yeah. which I, I mean, think pushes it up to like ninety. If I remember, like the chart, right? Uh, uh, you, I think seventy-five percent chance of failure. What happened? <clears throat> you open a gate, right, and you fail, and instead of Wraith comes out Gar's ex-wife. That hate, oh, no. she's turned into a real <laughs> hateful bitch ever since Gar all killed her. All they do is just hound us like, where is Gar? That lazy layabout. Ah, oh, he's probably dead again. Oh, no, it'd be more hilarious. Instead of Braith, we get Gar again for some fucking reason. <laughs> Gar comes look. back in, Shane's like, one other yeah, thing I need yeah, to Yeah, I gotta be here. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, Sidious uh, throws Gar through the portal. Take him back, I don't Whoa. want him. Wraith is a character here, so I can, uh, it's available. I, uh, no, I just put his token back, because I deleted it a while ago. Uh, so, yeah, This is, is Robert with, uh, Lael, Wraith, and Wraith. Now, it's, Dude. it's, cl you're a cleric level six, so, yeah. Will we now, have to level him up, or? Yeah, to level him up. To, what, 11 or 12, or whatever it is. For 11, your character's right. going level. Alright, well, so, I, I... Wraith, literally, Wraith, in not simply in spirit form, in, well, it, w before we do that, let's roll. Let's see if it's possible first, One yeah. thing, I, I don't know if our well, paladin has anything that can help also. Uh, maybe I do. I can't think of anything. I don't know what, though. So I can't think of anything. It would have to be have. just a, a straight buff, though, which I don't know. Bless. Well, not let bless. Me see would, if the Imperiums can do anything. Would divine favor help? No, that's not it. Uh, bless won't help. Hey, you know this might be a good time for a ceremony, huh? Get married. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ceremony! I can do that. It, it doesn't help with the. Uh... To witness these two people. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Uh, she looks at you and goes like, "What?" Now? <laughs> yeah. that was, it's a joke. Uh, what, if we had, like, goes like, she goes like, what, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I actually think that is a good idea. It doesn't actually help with the, the spell, but it would give us AC <laughs> mechanically. And she looked at you and said, you're not just doing this so you put this spell, <laughs> right? Of course this not. is permanent. If you, if you, and she looks at, she looks at like you know, like, and it, her eyes are actually watering, like, like. I mean, fairness is not actually permanent. No, but well, one part of it is though. Be, yeah, the fact that they're married, right? It's, it's. Yeah, marriage know. isn't permanent. If they're only Very married. Well, that's a fact. Well, the majority of people who get into a marriage will actually find out at some point. The marriage is permanent. The plus two bonus to AC is again the marriage not yeah. permanent. People do get divorced. You yeah, understand that even okay. in a magical world, people get divorced. Also, a ceremony might be the word that does have yeah. another effect that lets it is basically the same as guidance that you can only benefit from once. What's that? Uh, coming of age. 
Now, well, it's your are, story. Are either of you, you young you're adults? You're all grown up now, Axios. Hold on, my roll twenty is how old are broke. you? Early twenties. Finally, coming of age in your early My adult? my roll twenty broke then. No, oh, it is. It crapped out for a second, but it came right back for me. You know, giant red box and whatnot. I think it's it coming of age is not merely the, uh, a number in this case. It's more like you know you. It's like playing The Sims, right? Oh, you got married, yeah. it's an event, right? So that's what it means. Um, I think that's about it, though. I'm gonna start loading in again. If you want me to uh, cast it, I will do the ceremony. I would say literally wedding wouldn't help you at all. Yeah. Well, it would help us for, you know, the fight we're about to get in. It, yeah, when you decide not great. to marry her. Here, Kovalds, everybody get into nice, neat rows so that we can all celebrate once it happens. I have a question. Um, for the gate thing, if Braith does come back, how long is he here for? 40 to 60 years, depending on how well you treated your body, I guess. No, wait, Braith was an old man. 20 yeah, to 40 like... years. Oh, so he's back permanently. Well, his oh, spirit yeah. is going to come. His condition doesn't change. No. You will literally bring Brave back. Yeah, it will literally bring him back from the dead. I mean, oh, we can always, uh, we always put you back it, in the it, uh, time chamber. About if it's exchanges every, <laughs> every set. Well, no, no, you, no, uh, back in the hyperbolic time chamber that we found you in the first time. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. Oh, I, I so want him back now. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah he just I mean, becomes alive. Yeah. Will he stay, though? I mean, that's... That's up to him. He has That's his own game. thing. Yeah. Oh man, I'll probably get like crit three times in a row again and die anyway, so who knows? Yeah. Fair enough. Anyways, uh, so if you ceremony coming of age, that is the only other thing we can do for this spell, specifically. He will, um, let, then Alexander it's will... Like... However, I am also not against the other one. Alexander says, I will do both for both of you. And then we can do, like, a real thing later. You know, like a party deal. What do deal. you mean, later? Like a, well, okay, so it happens now, right? That's official, but we don't really have the space or materials to have a party now. So we have the party after we get back. And I'm sure the Baron will be. I'm sure Kix will be more than happy to throw. And the see, party. she switches to your native Cobalt language. Cobalt Cave Party. A, she switches to to her native language. Like, you do know I'm not gonna come to make this until we actually have a part. Right? <laughs> Nobody we're else gonna, understands what he's saying. It's a, it's we're a gonna have a party. And, and the giants are like, and, and the giants. <laughs> we're gonna have a party. They have. They it's have stone happen. face like. like we're committing now. It's happening. One of them, the, the, you know, uh, <laughs> the first one is the, 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 the first one you met. He's about to say something. But it's like, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Get the fuck off. Right. I mean, right? Yeah. Okay, fine. Well, let's do. Let's do it. Let's... We're doing all the things, uh, and then we'll have a party. We'll serve my spirit when we're safe. The first one is uh... welcome adventuring. So for the next hour, um, Alexander provides, um, touches your shoulder and provides with you um, the coming of age rites for Axios Kyrakis. Oh, actually, the, it's for Sevda. And for Sevda, the young tiefling woman from the far reaches of the Not land. Not a tiefling. Excuse me, the young Asimar woman. Not a far, <laughs> just a human. The far, the young woman from the far <laughs> reaches of the there land. You go. Who has fought life and limb and has shown her metal. Today, she is now a woman. But sure. Sure. I don't know. I'm fucking making Close enough, up. man. But close enough. Oh, this better fucking work now, or else this is all going to be very awkward. Oh, yeah, this could just oh, go Colin horribly wrong. Good point. Objection. Counterspell. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Counterspell your counterspell. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. Then go out rises from the grave. Counterspell your counterspell. So. I'm 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 not even gonna. I'm just gonna roll two d twenty, and we'll go from there. 
You said I'm praying. The DC was 19, right? First one's an 18. So we're already over the DC. <laughs> we already won. Congratulations. Okay. So a 21, a 26. Mm -hmm. A 31 to cast gate. At a 19. On a DC 19. So again, a sort of a, a oh. right, uh, um, rectangle opens up of light. And out of it steps uh Wraith. And Wraith was like having a conversation with somebody. Like, no, because it's like Yeah, and he's a bit, actually he is a bit younger. He's like how old was Wraith when, when he died? It's like 52, 53. He's about twenty six or twenty seven. Holy shit. Kicks, this is when you hit him with the You're alive, buddy. This is where I'm walking up to him <laughs> like Wraith, you son of a bitch, just Full on arm class. <laughs> More to your style. You're back. Right? How do you react? One moment you were having a philosophical discussion about the uh, reality of the universe, and then you were going to step up to get more drinks in this grand hall that was beautiful <laughs> silver and gold, and you're like, I'm going to get another drink, and then you're here. And then you Are remember, you and one thing is like, you remember, it's like, you, for the first time, you feel air in your lung, like, <laughs> like I'm mm. breathing. I'm... You don't remember the last time you breath? You had a breath? Maybe like twenty sessions ago. Uh... <laughs> Master kicks. That's right. We got one last hurrah to do, and you're here to see it through with us. What? Come on, old friend. We've chased the orcs all the way back into their land. We fought through giants to get here. I'm retaking the land of my a parents. Who are all you people? I, I'm, I... You remember the kobolds? I do. And, Z and the kobolds are like, I remember you. Zigzag is like, I remember Jer kicks. Journeyman Zag is here. What what is going on? And you see this? You see these two giants. And between them, sitting on kind of top of a rock, like a giant winged creature. Actually, you do know that. Actually, you do recognize the giants, not personally, but you recognize because I've seen them before. Yeah. And the winged I creatures, you know that they're Imperiums. Oh yes. my! You have a vague recollection of where you were. They were somewhat common there, no. but now you don't. You don't like. Wait a minute. Where was I? And I'm sure you met the Sphinx too. And then I did, from I the shadows, I, I take that poison. He's met me. He didn't know what you gave me. And I <laughs> shoot Braith in the back. Aha, no, you're waiting all along. Four crits, I believe, is standard when shooting a Braith. <laughs> <laughs> End it. He says, you, you... I'm alive again, aren't I? You are. I've kept your axe ever since you left us. I, do I see Storm's Fury? Yes. Yeah. Do I Bloody, but I'm bound. Do I, I, I grip Storm's Fury? <laughs> Add a character, just like, no, my. <laughs> my big weapon. <laughs> so good. <laughs> just a hypothetical question here. What happened to the body that got buried? Still it totally doesn't... there. Uh, you, you Welcome have to, to metaphysics. Check. Well, no, yeah, I mean, I'm wondering now this. if this is like a Beetlejuice style resurrection that the body came back here and was just made whole again. I guess it's reverse Beetlejuice. The, the body's still there. This is a brand new brace from another dimension. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I grip the I grip Storm's Fury. Uh, I you know like kind of like hold it in my hands for a moment, thinking. I look up at all of you. I I do I recognize Barricade at all without the hood at all or no? No. No. Nope. Never okay. saw him without him. You see, a right. tiefly, you see a young woman from from the West. In way, fairness, like, I've never seen her either. With the wait, wait, wait. Holding hands, holding, holding hands with. Wait, in fairness, you how many yeah. how many times has Wraith incited a person? Those eyes, <laughs> psychic. <laughs> yeah. those, I'm saying those eyes have to be recognizable to someone who's yeah, constantly staring one, into yeah. those eyes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it back. Seems familiar. Kicks a Yeah, that's that seems to be uh Ma Master Barricade? Well it's Axios actually. 
Ah, you revealed yourself. Yeah. Good for you. And also, this is my fiance, Sevda. Who's still holding hands to his leg. Madam Sevda, it is a pleasure. Yeah. She's overwhelmed. Like, she's like. She did literally just revive someone from a different plane that uh, she didn't I'm just know. Gonna... I'm just gonna turn around to go, Cobalt, it's, Cobalt, it's time to cheer. Cheer, cheer quickly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they said, don't like. <laughs> I mean, how would Six that react to all this, uh, Peter? Uh, he would be like, yeah. I mean, Zigzag is all like Sid from Final Fantasy, so, you know. Oh, okay. He, he generally, ha well, no, like, you're thinking later Final Fantasy. It's early Final Fantasy. He was an eccentric old man that loved working on things and liked his friends. Yeah, well, yeah, he's like, actually, so he moves in and, and slaps Braith in the back. It's good to have you back, laddie. By the way, she's the one that revived you. Then I have you to thank for giving me a second chance, madam. Master Kicks? Yes, Braith. Where are we going? We're going down the mountain. We're scaring off an entire army. And we're destroying uh, this temple and its leadership that threatens Greyhawk. Once and for all. Then allow me to suit up, please. Also, you also recognize someone else. An old friend of yours, a paladin, who is there as well. Oh, I forgot. You got, yeah, he knows. <laughs> oh, no, this, this, this guy here. of you playing two characters. So, you know, that, we have yeah. the puppet show. Like, Alexander, oh, hey, yeah. it's funny to see you there, Alexander. Oh, yeah, Brayden, it's so great to see you, too. Bray wow, Bray I didn't expect you'd be here. Yeah, they needed the help once you died. Well, Bray now we got this all settled. Braith uh, notices Alexander, and he actually is shocked to see him. And he says, my friend... It has been years. I never thought I would see you again. And Alexander, um, you know, very weird for him because his face is all fucked up, uh, gives a smile and he says, well, one more time, I guess, is good enough. And uh, the two of them give a, like a, the most manliest war hug you could imagine. Yeah. Braith is... Almost cheer, cheer. <laughs> Uh, Braith, Braith needs time to prepare, i.e. I gotta level him up. Six levels. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, that's gonna take a... That's gonna take... That's gonna be sure. a while. Yeah, so I think uh, tonight's session is gonna end a little early. We, we accomplished our goal, we got out, and we're set up for the next one, where we just can roll straight into it. I'm going yeah. to give you, give you the XP for that, which I don't yep. think will level up, level up to level 12, XP but... Uh, we did literally just, like, level up... Uh, Session, yeah. Know, so, but you're gonna get tons of experience because you did kill quite a bit of things. Oh gosh, yeah. Because, so much yeah, stuff. I have to give you the experience from this, the top level of the the dungeon, and the things that you killed the last time as well. Which I, yeah. That's oh gosh, yeah. yeah. That's gonna take a bit to total up. We need like <laughs> ten and a half thousand to level up. So. Oh, and is not the uh, zigzag wearing plate armor now? Yeah. Yes. And yeah, he's working on it all that time. <laughs> Congratulations! How's it feel? Get yours done too. It looks, feels like it took a whole year or something, doesn't it? Dude, <laughs> Crazy. Yeah it, is, yeah, it is expensive, but but well, I did it. Star metal plate mail. Yeah. Yeah. And that meteor golem you all killed. Yeah, like six months ago. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to leave it here early tonight because uh, players have a lot of repairing. I need to calculate our XP. And uh, next week is probably going to be the final battle and the close of the campaign. So, we're going to be talking about Ooh. that as well uh, and see, you know, go over everything in the campaign and uh, see what future plans are out there. So, let's uh, start uh, with Theta. Shout out. funny if you were to say our final campaign will be next week. There'll be several sessions after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our final session next week. Everyone's be like favorite. more sessions after that. Epilogue, you know. George Lucas taught me anything. We got a lot more <laughs> trade disputes to handle. Oh, we gotta boy. make like three prequel sessions. 
kicks yeah. the younger years. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play Gar, and you three, one of you plays my wife, and one of you plays one of my children, and one of you plays the other children. Let's see how badly I really fucked this up. <laughs> oh, Dad, please don't let me die. It's not British, <laughs> for one thing. They are now. They are now. Under, <laughs> underdog British, sir. Uh, oh, you dolly, governor. I did not know that I was so rooting for my daughter to die. Oh God! <laughs> it wasn't oh, no. that he had to sacrifice her. It's that he literally picked her up and threw her in a fire right here. <laughs> oh, she's pretty. Get her out of here. Game Game of Thrones stars. Like, well, fuck it. I, uh, Give me that gas. Look for it. Much like a Spartan child on the cliff. You have gotta go. Yeah. Oh. No. Start. Let's we'll start with the uh, with the chat outs. Uh, Theta. Let's start with you. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Hey, I'm Theta. I run this channel with Griff, and, uh, drop by here twice, maybe three times a week to see shows that we run. We have Iron Claw on Wednesday mornings and, uh, Pathfinder Wednesday evenings. Uh, Sunday mornings, we now have Forbidden Lands. We switched over from Torchbearer, and, uh, of course, Sunday evenings, we have this game. If you watch that, you already know. Bi-weeklies, we have that, uh, podcast about games and games design. That's from Nailif. Next week, we have Robert as our guest. Nice. Yeah. And then, of course, we have Griffin. Yep, that's right. Just like they had said, uh, we're both running channel here. Come see us when we do a variety of different things. Check out YouTube where we do a whole bunch of reactions. And uh, uh, as always, of course, like, comment, subscribe. Come see us when we start doing stuff next time. Uh, next up, we have Pedrin. Yep, that's me. I'm playing here uh, for as long as this campaign remains, and on Wednesdays. Uh, I am technically streaming now on Fridays, but ooh, nice. we'll we're, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know well, if I can keep a consistent schedule or not yet. So yeah, me, me totally feel you. Yep. We'll see how it goes. And uh, Robert. Uh, I also stream, usually Tuesdays and Fridays are my stream days. Uh, we'll change the name of my channel now. We actually have a brand. We are called, uh, Party Goblins. Oh, nice. So, uh, twitch.tv slash Party Goblins. I also write for Tech Party Raptor. All the time. Exactly. Party all the time. Party all the time. I also uh, write for Tech Raptor. Uh, I'm hosting the Pathfinder game on Wednesday nights. Come watch me, where all my magic items are warm to the touch. You Hell yeah. <laughs> so you wouldn't go with Andrew WK? Party hard? Good. And of course, I have your GM, uh, Let's Learn. You can find me here on Twitch and Let's Learn 1. Uh, Monday through Thursday, I'm streaming Dragon Age Inquisition and other games as they come along. Fridays, I'm often a guest at the uh, pod uh, Four Major Cut podcast. And on Sundays, I run the Sunday game here for these lovely people. And also, you can find me over at uh, Lessons Learn, just Lessons Learn on YouTube. Uh, my uh, Mass Effect and other assorted gaming uh, stuff. So, more than welcome. Thank you, ready for coming, and uh, we'll see you next Sunday for the grand finale of Into the Wild Coast. On to that. Bye bye. See you, everybody. See ya. Adios.